Pod Podcast. We're coming at you live from Hogwarts to give you another magical movie commentary on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Philosopher's Stone, bro. Okay, we can get into this, but you're not wrong. As always, we are paused at the Warner Brothers picture logo is fully up on the screen with the clouds in the background. While you guys uh, magically get there, I am your host, Brian Banner, and with me today for all our Harry Potter nest stuff, I also have our legal counsel, Ronnie Cycli. Now, Cycli, um, there's a lot of money in Gringotts. How do they keep something that large under wraps? Well, obviously, magical powers, Brian Banner. You know, you gotta you have the magical this of this caves cave of wonders down there. You have the uh, tiger closing up the entrance. Wait, that's Aladdin. My yeah, bad. That's Aladdin. I apologize no, about it's that. It's a wrong wrong movie. So with that, have you even ever seen Harry Potter before? Wait, the the porno, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh-huh. one we're about to watch. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right, we're gonna hit play in three, two, one. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. So where were you? Did you see this? Were you into Harry Potter when this came out? I was not into the books when this came out, but I did go and see the movie. One of my friends was really, really into the books. I was like, we got to go see this. So I don't know if I saw it opening night, but definitely opening weekend. And I was immediately just mesmerized by, by all of it. Yeah, I went I, – I remember going. I went – I was obsessed I had probably discovered the books the year before this movie came out. Yeah, because this came out in 2001, I believe. In 2000, I discovered the books, and I was just so obsessed with the series. So I remember I went at 7 o'clock on Friday night, back before you know midnight showings and all that. I was 13 years old, 14 years old. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy packed. And you had to get to this movie. Back then, you had to get to the movies two hours early, three hours early. Yeah, there weren't reserved, there weren't reserved seats. seats. You know, if you wanted to anything yeah. decent, but... That was back when, like, you would literally have to leave school and go straight to the straight movies to, the movie to get, a, to get a good seat. Oh, yeah. I, um, yeah, I wasn't into the books as much, but I want one of these things yeah. that just turns the lights off automatically. Richard Harris, man, he rests in peace. I know. I, I think Fantastic it's so cool actor. why he went ahead and took this role and, and did the first two movies, even though he knew he was going to die. For his grandkids. For his grandkids. Right? His grandkids were into the books and were like, we love it. You are Dumbledore. You have to do this. And so he said, okay. And I think these were his last two films, right? Uh, I'm not sure if he did anything else, but I know they were definitely two of they his were two, last. They yeah. were two of his last. I don't know if he sure. was in anything else. I mean, Gladiator was the year before this, and he was in Gladiator. Yeah. But yeah, that was definitely 2000. But, I mean, immediately, our first two characters, we get McGonagall and Dumbledore. Can you cast them any per- more perfect? No, you can't. Now, and here's our third character, Hagrid. Even, every, Robin Coltrane, just as perfect. I mean, they nailed a, it. This is a series and, and a movie more specifically where they could not have casted better, I don't think. Um, mainly because you didn't know what you were going to get. I mean, assuming – I mean, when they made this, they, they only signed on for three movies. Everybody only signed mm-hmm. on for three movies. So they didn't know if they were going to get years four through seven – yeah. And then that that last eighth movie wasn't even in the, in the works. But to plan for that and to really not strike out at all, it's it's unbelievable what they did. I mean, the series the series took from two thousand one to what two thousand eleven, ten years, maybe eleven years, eight movies, and only one major recast, and that was because of Richard Harris's death. I mean, there wasn't a it wasn't like someone was just upset with the series. They kept Alan Rickman. Throughout the, the whole series. and I mean, it's, it's just phenomenal what they did. And also, talk about how movie stars in America, especially kid movie stars, all end up a little fucked up throughout their life. Go through their, you know, teenage rebellion years or end up crazy. How, how well-grounded were these kids? I mean, to make it through. I know Daniel Radcliffe had a little bit yeah, of, like, other like than nothing. Daniel Radcliffe getting hammered, which, I mean. But who cares? Who doesn't do that? That's not like what our guys are used to, you know, our kids. But, yeah. I mean, I mean her, uh, Emma Watson, fucking genius. You know, she went to Brown and Oxford. It's like, it's nuts, man. They like, how could they have done this any better? They couldn't. And I, I Alan Rickman again. I think we need to we need to pay our respects to him. Oh, he, I loved him from Die Hard as a kid, and then 
to be honest with you, he didn't even realize that that was him in this until I got a little older and could actually like knew who actors yeah. were. And just such a talent, such a loss that we we missed him and great get for them as uh, as Severus Snape. So we got to see our first look at Daniel Radcliffe as Harry, and I think he grew a lot. I mean, obviously grew physically, but. In terms of his acting talents, you know, throughout the movies. But in this one, for what it is, this movie, for what it is, is the way Christopher Columbus directed it was very family friendly. It's an introduction into the series. It's very uh, clean, yep. you know, very organized. It's not dr- r- like raw or anything like that. And that's, like, what you needed. that's what you need when you're talking about bringing somebody into this world, this wizarding world, this, this magical place. They are literally explaining an entirely – I mean, this is almost like Star Wars where mm-hmm. it's such a foreign place. It needs to be a very clean, simple story yeah. to introduce us and to get us in. So then you can get into the minutia and the more yeah, real. You know, real stuff. But if you, I mean, How the, pissed do you think Uncle Vernon would be if Harry dropped a ham on the oh, ground Oh, dude, right look there? at that guy. You know there's extra though. You know there's you plenty know to there's go around. Extra, yeah. Speaking of, he also has passed away. He has. There's been, there's a lot of people yeah. that have passed away from these movies. You know, and the thing is, going back to, like, the wasn't corny... wasn't from a heart attack, either. Uh, what was it? I don't know. Yeah. I just assumed it might have been. I know, like, he influenced Daniel Radcliffe a lot in acting, because a lot of these actors are big theater actors, and, and Daniel Radcliffe obviously went did some theater after this. But, you know, and people criticize, or they criticize the first two movies. They just say they're more kiddie, they're more corny. But if you read the first two Harry Potter books, she intended the first two as introductions as well. They are a lot cornier. Her writing gets so much darker starting with Pr- Prisoner of Azkaban. I mean, and, and honestly, Chris Columbus f- uh, kind of followed the books pretty on point. It's this one especially, almost to the T. Now, we'll get to this later on. There's one huge part that I wish they would have included. I get why they didn't, but I really wish they would have. Um, but yeah, I think this one and Chamber of Secrets, they really followed to a T yeah. almost word for word from the book. Obviously it gets harder to do when the books got bigger. So I got to, okay. Um, this is an online theory. The snake that Harry is talking to here. I don't think so. Maybe. See, I, 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 I yeah, I agree so. with you, but this is online that this is actually going to be Nagini, that this snake that he frees finds Voldemort somewhere. Here's the thing. It has a boy's Voldemort. voice here. Nagini's a girl. Boom. Well, I mean, boom. Checkmate, nope. bitches. Boom. But yeah, that's uh, that's a big, that's a fun one online. It's a good, it's a good fun theory. I personally don't believe it. I think that if it, if that were the case, everything in the, in all of these movies are so calculated. And and J.K. Rowling, when she was writing the books, she knew what she was doing. She had it all planned. She had it all yeah. planned out. And I think that if this is Nagini. She would have planned that out, and there would have been one line somewhere that verified Nagini that. Nagini would have talked to Harry and been like, you freed me. <laughs> yeah. Harry's like, God damn it. Well, and it would have been, I think it, you would go back into that same um, thing where you saved a life, so they can't kill you now. Oh, Nagini wow. Tried, that would have been. Nagini wouldn't have tried to, wouldn't try and kill Harry, just like Wormtail can't wow, kill Harry. that would have been actually... I mean, I don't believe it's an E, but if it had been, that would have been sick. What a throwback that would have been in the final battle. That would have and been then cool. you find out, like, Nagini can't, when the Wizarding Law, like, hurt him. Man. What is Dudley behind the vanishing glass? Obviously, in the books, uh, I don't think he gets stuck. He just, the, the glass just it completely just, vanishes. Yeah, it just vanishes. But I yeah, like this that he gets stuck. is good little imagery. Uh, I like that he gets fun. stuck. I think um, – I don't – again, like you said before, a lot of the kid acting – like, that's just not good, Dudley. <laughs> but I think they all got very – they got better. Some of them regressed in a movie or two, but then got much better. And, and at the end, I think they're all fantastic actors and actresses, especially for what they've had to do and what they've gone through. Yeah. Over the years. So I, I feel really bad for the actor who plays Dudley for a couple things. One is I guess he um, – you know, he he was a little bigger in the first two movies for a kid that age. <coughs> excuse me. There's no and, excuse uh, I apologize. And um, 
And so when he got when he was older, he thinned out. But they continued to make him wear a fat suit, and it said it made him feel feel self conscious. And then uh, also he felt really left out overall because he was ever only in scenes with Harry, so he never got to be part of like all the young actors who were all friends. That's he kind of talked about like he never got to be in the, when his filming days were never coordinated with everyone else. That's crazy. I never would have thought yeah, of that. So but like yeah, he that's... never got to hang out. Like I mean, sure he knew them, but like. He kind of felt like out of place compared to me. Yeah, especially. I mean, I'm sure like it would probably make it awkward if he went on doing like promotional material and promotional marketing stuff with them. Couldn't like that would be weird because like they have this chemistry and all these inside jokes from being on set that you're just not included. Yeah, he's in. just like yeah, he shows up either at the beginning of filming or end of filming whenever they chose. You know, here we go. Like this whole like don't show him the letter thing. Harry has already been proven to be an idiot by handing mail, opening mail in front of his uncle. Like, at what yeah. world does he – he knows his uncle disproves of everything he is. Why even do that? Why don't you put it in your cupboard? Hide it. I know. But this I, is why really Harry's done. not Ravenclaw. I mean this is proof right here. This one right hat, there. It's like, yeah, you're definitely going to be a Hufflepuff. Oh, wait. You're a Potter? Okay. I guess you'll be Gryffindor. We, I mean I guess you have to be. Was there any greater feeling though as a kid than getting mail? Yeah. I loved getting mail as a kid. I never I, it was a big deal because it never happened. It never happened, and it was like, and I didn't understand. I, I remember telling my parents like, I can't wait to get mail. My dad's like, it's not that exciting. It's no. all bills all the time. Uh, I hate getting mail now. Like now it's a celebration when I only have like one piece of yeah, mail like, or no mail no in the mailbox. Like why am I getting mail right now? There, we have email, bro. Just text me. Yeah. Yeah, can I just like automatically have that taken out of my bank account? That'd Look be how awesome. happy he is. No post office. Yeah. Yeah, because wizarding law. Like he, he also doesn't have much. Oh well, they're gonna definitely adhere to the uh, the laws of this country. Yes. No post office. Of course. I mean, technically, they how like again? I think that's what makes this idea and, and why I was so fascinated with this story as a kid is. There is an entire another civilization living within In this years, civilization, yeah. and like, is it real? Could this be? Re I mean, obviously, I magic mean, and stuff. Why like, couldn't it be? In why the, couldn't it be? Why wouldn't we? We wouldn't know. We yeah, exactly. I always thought that that was like as a kid. I always thought like, oh, Star Wars and like all these movies that traditionally you think these are mm -hmm. totally fictitious. Hey, Harry, grab one from the fucking ground, you idiot. That's like something out of a music video, <laughs> like a Kanye video. It's like, just make it rain, make yeah. it rain. Yeah, proof again why he's on fucking Ravenclaw. It doesn't pick up. There's thousands of letters. Just shove that shit down your pants. Uncle Vernon can't try and grab your penis. Well, we don't know what kind of uncle he is. Well, that's true. I stand corrected. <laughs> he's like, let me see your magic wand. Okay, we got a little too much there. Yeah, that we went <laughs> off the rails a little. Like, at this point, dude, just like... just. You know the homeowners association is going to have to say something about they this. They would. They would definitely. How say many something. owls and letters? Like, hey, you got to take care yeah, of this. I right mean, one hundred. Come on, that's fine. But one hundred and one, <laughs> no siree. I think it would have been cool them showing how they got to the oh, that's the right. lighthouse place. Well, in the book, aren't isn't there like three days of them like yeah, they're running around they're going driving one way, places. then obviously they'll stop and turn the other way. They end up staying the night at like a hotel, and Harry gets a bunch of letters. Delivered to the hotel yeah. for him. I remember he's like, isn't he talking to himself while he's driving and changing yeah. directions? Yeah. He's like, oh, you're not going to catch me. See, what if that was the birthday wish? Look at that. He makes the wish. Did he wish to be taken away? By a giant man. And really none of this would have happened if he didn't make the birthday wish? It would be a very weird <laughs> wish. That part, I remember watching that in, in theaters when he first bangs on the door. It scared the shit out of me. I jumped. You didn't expect it. Yeah. Oh, Hagrid. He, like, he, you know, there's so many deaths in this year. I was so glad he didn't die. Yeah. He, it's, spoilers. Every book, every, every time he was the rumor. Like, oh, yeah. he's going to get it next. I wonder if that's why he never did because, I it mean. It was expected. Yeah, you can't. Obviously, obviously, I've never wrote a book. I've never wrote a movie. I've wrote a couple of shitty squad blogs, and that's it. But, like, everybody 
all these rumors. You she had to listen to them, right? She had. Oh to hear yeah, them. how do you not? And so anytime there is like, okay, here's the potential for somebody to die. She goes, well, I'm not going to make it that because that's what everybody wants. Yeah, you can't. You got to be a little unpredictable. Yeah. And I think that was she was predictably unpredictable. That's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. Like you didn't know what was going to happen, which is again part of the allure, part of what made it so much fun. God, and she she threw in some good twists in there. Great twist, especially the fourth the one. The humor, and then he smells happy. Still, I know. <laughs> well, they don't teach smelling in He's Hogwarts. He's uneducated. He didn't even he That's didn't true. even finish Hogwarts. It's just so funny. Like so, there's been like all these kind of like blogs about like the real tragedy of Harry Potter was the Wizarding world was in severe decline. And, like, this is just, you know, people making up stories. But yeah. based on things we see, it's like, you know, they're not learning math. They're not learning English. Like, you know, they're not learning anything. Yeah. And it's like they're obviously dwindling society. And it was kind of, like, really sad to think about it if, if that's the case. Because they're all about, you know, there's only 600 students at Hogwarts or something between all seven grades. It's a very exclusive group, though. See, here's what I want to know. Are there other schools in England? I know we know we learn about the three big schools, but you know, I maybe Hogwarts is the most prestigious private you, school. You would, yeah, you would have you have to assume that there are other like are there public wizarding schools? That's what I want to know. Like there's gotta be. And are there like, you know, there's there's obviously lawyers, we learn that later. There's doctors, there's healers. So do they have advanced schools? Like medical schools? Yeah, like or, like a secondary yeah. like college or something. Um, oh, we got the iconic uh, wizard Harry. <laughs> Uh, I'm a what? Oh, okay. He believes it pretty quickly. He does. But, I mean, if you got to think you're this suppressed kid for 12 years, like, all you've known is just getting yeah. treated like dog shit, you know, and you, you want to be accepted by something else. And I think they do a better job in the book of going through this, which I think a montage, would, this would have been perfect for a montage. Like, montage. in the book... In the book, she Ampetunia cuts his hair, and then all That's of a sudden right. it grows, grows back. back yeah. um, all the he, weird shit. Happens. All the weird shit happens to him. So jumps on the roof of the school. jumps on the roof of the school. He bounces off his head as a baby. Yeah. Like there's a lot of things that, like weird shit, just happens to you. It makes it a lot Plus, more believable. Like you know what? It makes sense now. As an 11 year old too, if someone had told me, "You're a wizard. You're a space." Oh, I'd You're, believe it. I'd be like, hell yeah, I am. Somebody like, told me I was an alien. I'd be like, like you know oh, what? You might sense. be right. Makes sense. I've been saying that for years. Do you think Aunt Petunia was hot back in the day? Mm, in like when she was young? Yeah. Like I'm 20 like years ago. British hot. Yeah. You know, like, you know, doable. I mean, pints I've had. Yeah. I don't know what she looked. I wonder. I'm curious. I, I would be too because I, I feel like. Maybe not as much in the face, but the body definitely. Yeah, she's got a rocking bod. Yeah, but she married, you know, Vernon. So I mean, yeah, but as far as money, all that drill money, all the drill, all that drill money, and all like this. Like, it's so funny how when this movie first came out and the books first came out, like there were all these terms like muggle and and just weird shit like that. That now, honestly, in, in our household. Those are just common terms. Yeah, yeah. How much has this the language has changed? Ever, even if you've never read or seen Harry Potter, you know what it means. You know what it is, yeah. I mean, she. It, it's crazy how much this like defined a generation. Oh, it definitely. I don't. It's it's so hard to say it defined our generation right now because I feel like our generation is still, which we're in we're in our late twenties, early thirties. Definitely millennials, but kind of the tail end of that. It's hard to say that this is the defining series of our generation because I think that our generation is still, there's still so many other great movies and great storytelling that's coming out. Definitely movies wise, but like in terms of just epics, like, yeah. you know, like Star Wars was, you know, in the set, we didn't get to see we, that. Yeah, like, we didn't experience things. that. Like in terms of like an impact on social, like social society. In terms of entertainment, I mean, like, I don't think anything comes close in terms of just impact on society when it comes to, the, you know, books yeah. and movies. Now, I'm not saying this is you know, the best movies ever. I'm just saying in terms of, like, like you just said, everyone knows what these terms are now. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and there's Harry Potter everything all over the world now. You have two Harry Potter Wizarding Worlds in America now. You know, you have 
you go to Barnes and Noble, they still have the Harry Potter section. Yeah, you know, and everything, and it's just like. Well, I bought just just the other day for uh, uh, Christmas. I bought my wife a Harry Potter cookbook. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And I mean the the movies have they haven't been making the movies for what, eight ten years, eight years, years now, now ten years now something like that. I think 2011. It's a seven 2011. Years, okay, so seven years, and they're still coming up with new stuff. Like you said, they have. We have the wor- Wizarding World. I mean, there's freaking theme parks yeah. named after them, and I think that's a huge impact on pop culture. I mean, they're continuing it now. They're, I mean, they're all yeah. making differences. There's and plays. There's, there's plays. We have a, a spinoff series now with yeah. the Fantastic Beast series. This is a creepy place. Oh, yeah, like taking a little – this is like – this is like grungy type bar, this hooligan is, bar, you know. Like I've been in some bars like this before, Bro, and I've re- immediately regretted my decision. I like this. Notice how he doesn't shake his hand. He gets like too nervous, but then you realize later on why he it all shake makes his hand sense. Yet. I always thought it was weird that he wore a turban. Like, why not wear like a top hat? <laughs> it's just a baseball cap. Yeah. Well, because the head, you would see the... Or just like a normal wizarding hat. Because the back of the head... Remember his face is on the back of the head? So if you wear a normal hat, you might see, like, lumps. I don't know. And plus, he, like, didn't... So, like, what I learned about Quirrell is, like, in backstory that uh, J.K. Rowling wrote about later is... So, Quirrell was at Hogwarts, three years teaching a different course, and then he went on a sabbatical for a year and went to Albania, which is where Lord Voldemort... You know, possessed him and came back, and that's when he got the Defense Against the Dark Arts position. Because you know, everyone says, "Oh, it's one Defense Against the Dark Arts per year because it was cursed," but it was confusing because obviously everyone knew Coral was had been at Hogwarts before, but he would he changed roles, and it had been cursed ever since he Voldemort a, came back asking for the for job, the job. Yeah. right? So, which is crazy. That would mean like four, like thirty years worth of new. 30 years or 40 years of having a new teacher. Honestly, no that's got to make, like, the parents go, I don't know if we should send our but, schools here. But that's the thing. Here. Like, remember by the third book, like, someone wrote this online. and was like, you know, how poorly run was Hogwarts? Like, by the third book, like, they couldn't even get anyone to teach. I'm like, but think about it. If you, if you know of a position that for 40 years only everyone's only made it one year, why would you apply for that? There's so got to be something sense. wrong. We're reading it on the perspective that this is a third year this has happened. But in reality, it's been decades. Yeah, you have to think of it from their perspective, yeah. really. Because then that's why you're hiring, like, a homeless guy like Lupin. You know, like, there's no one else for the damn job. I got to say, too, this movie did such a great job with sets. I mean, talk about bringing us into the yeah. wizarding world. Like, this is how you do it. Not a bunch of CGI. Like, this is all practical, yeah. real. Like, they built all this stuff. Also, the music, John Williams is oh, a fantastic fa- Absolutely job. fantastic. Don't even get me started. Hedwig's theme song is probably a top three score. In terms of just like, yeah, the the I, you hear it, you know what it is. Yeah. And again, I think that's one of those ones that even Star if Star Wars, Harry Potter. Jurassic Park, uh-huh. Superman. Again, all of those are John Williams. I think that's another one of those ones that you just hear and you know it's Harry Potter. I remember the first time, like you heard it, and there's like, bum, ba, da, bum, ba. he's like, "Do you have this plant, or did he like?" It, it just feels magical. Yeah. This guy were creepy. Yeah. Why are you being dude, so mean, dude? Honestly, I would probably have a lot more money in my bank account if I had to go to this guy every time I had yeah. to withdraw money. You're like, you know what? No, the money can stay in there. You I know, you make a valid point. It should this. stay in there. Hagrid is not very discreet about this either. Hey, this thing that's supposed to be hey, top, it's top secret. I always love the top secret stuff Don't in movies. Don't say is anything. stamped top secret. Because in my opinion, if I had something really secretive I needed to pass on, I wouldn't put that it's secretive on there. No. That you send it normal first class mail, yeah. gets there in seven to ten days. Yeah. It would be fine. I'm just saying like the stamp right now as an 11-year-old, if I see something top secret – I'm like, I got to open that. Oh, I got to open it. It's just like when there's somebody that says, don't touch this button. Yeah, I got to touch it. I have it. to touch the I'm button. I'm going now. to. Like, tell me to touch it. I'm going to be like, don't, don't tell me what to do. I'm not going to touch the yeah. button. If that letter should say, like, please open uh, really boring adult language stuff in here or adult business yeah. rules. This is like, Horn a Second, ah. Rachel's Divorce Papers. 
please read. <laughs> well, according to, she's dead now, I guess. What? I don't. I mean, I hung out with her the other day, though. <laughs> Maybe he's good. just convincing himself of that. Yeah. I mean, look how you? rich he is, man. What if he was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to school. I'm good. No shit. Like, I got plenty of money. What kind of interest rates do you think they're it's, getting on this stuff? Oh, they've got. Nuts? It's got to be. It's got to be what six percent, eight. And how does it work? Do they individually like in the bank make you know your savings account? Let's say you're getting six percent. Does these go, do these goblins go into your account and throw in a galleon every like other day? <laughs> Something like that. It's got to be, especially if you're Harry and you're coming from no money. You're like, look, brah. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. What would Hagrid do? If, like Harry's like, peace out, bitch. He's like, wait a second. That's What's, not what. What do you think the exchange rate between like the euro or the pound is? There is some, here. I'm gonna look it up. There is an official online. Is there um, really? Yeah. People have too much time on their hands on their internet. Please never stop. Ain't no place better. Okay. One galleon is worth essentially five British pounds. Six dollars and sixty four cents American. And five about a five dollar uh, five fifty eight euros. How many Australian dollars is that? Let's see if they have that. <laughs> Surely they have that. I just love like who calculates this. So one, and I want to know where like where your information comes. Like where's the basis for that? It says here. Ollivander's a creepy old man too. Like a Ichabod. She Crane said this guy. when she was asked in an er interview. She said a galleon is about five British pounds. Oh, all right. So then, of course, somebody is gonna. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Ollivander's really creepy. So one sickle is 30 cent pounds, and one nut is a penny, essentially. A canut? A canut. It's a canut. Uh, yeah, 30, for American dollars, it's 39 cents for a sickle, and 664 for a gallon. That's a huge difference between your three, three coins. A penny, 40 cents, and then 664. You know, I never realized this movie is actually kind of slow to get going, but it gets us right into it. Like, there's it's, just so much introduction. It's quick, but it's slow at the yeah. same time. Yeah. It's no Dark Knight Rises introduction. It takes an hour and five minutes for Batman to appear. Australian dollar a galleon is $8.72. Perfect. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> I often frequent Sydney and. With galleons? With galleons, yes. <laughs> galleons on galleons. And in the books, he goes through. I mean, in the movie, they do three, but in the book, I think he goes he through like, like twenty or near 30. the whole story. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'll do one. I'll do two. You know what? Maybe the guy that tried to kill you. Let's try his one. For as creepy as Ollivander is, I'm surprised he didn't want to try it out in the first place. Because you know he thought about it. Oh, you, you know, know he, he was like, when Harry comes in here, yeah. I wonder if this one will be. Yeah. Especially for somebody who never. Forgets a wand, supposedly. Yeah. But he's, like, coming right now. Look at that. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. Again, if I was Harry and I had this much money, I grabbed a stick. Because essentially that's what it is to him right now. Yeah. Wind comes, lights flicker, and this guy gets off. I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to take my <laughs> four billion canuts <laughs> and I'm just going to go chill on the beach somewhere. Yeah, like, I'm good. Like these, I'm like. I probably get that fucking out. scar on my forehead fixed. <laughs> you first thing you go to, like a plastic doctor, surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> Cover this up, please. Yeah. What if you wore makeup on it? Daniel Radcliffe would wear makeup on it. Like he's just like being thrown in. Everyone's like, oh, like all of a sudden you're someone. I, I would. I, part of him should be like, I'm freaked out. Oh, for sure. It's weird to me that he's not freaked out. It's like, especially by this guy, man. All of Hander, calm the fuck down, dude. I wonder what business is like for, like, a, a wand maker. Because I feel like you're only busy at one time of the year. I guess other, maybe adults, their wines break or malfunction yeah. or they want an upgrade. Right. But in it's got to be pretty slow, though. I want to know what, a, like, 
A wand's got to be expensive, right? Yeah, I remember in the book it's like 34 galleons or yeah, something like that. Yeah, they're expensive. So, I mean, if British pounds, that's like 343, 500 bucks. Yeah. Let me see. I'm Going to school is expensive. Again, I just saved my money. That's like a bonfire right in the middle of the fucking restaurant. Hagrid is just a dumb fucking oaf, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Because he just let an 11-year-old who knows nothing about anything convince him to tell him a story that he's not supposed to talk about. I'm like, I'm reading like these exchange rates, like a high level textbook at Hogwarts is $175 essentially. That's so, okay. So when they, and like when, uh, I'm sorry, I'm like reading all this shit. So Harry's one was $175. See, I feel like that's cheap. 175 bucks Mm -hmm. for something that's his for forever, more or less. I mean, Theoretically, they're probably not all forever. You know, they break. Like, they probably, like, they worn out. They maybe you lose it. Maybe. Maybe you just want to I totally fuck Harry's mom. Oh, yeah. She's hot. So we finally. I, like, I remember as a kid loving that they showed this. And then they show it again in the eighth one. When you're seeing uh, Sirius's true side. Which we'll get into that one is in su- subsequent movies, but I yeah. absolutely love that storyline. And she knew it from the beginning, man. The whole time, every time I watch these, for some, especially at the beginning, all the subtle stuff you don't think is a big deal. I know. She just had it all planned. I just wish I was smart enough or clever enough to go, I'm going to think of the end of this movie first and then yeah. figure it out. Work your way go. back. Yeah. yeah. I would say that's probably the easier way to do it, but I've also never written anything. So yeah. It's like right now Harry's like, I mean, okay, well, I was a baby. First thing I would be like, well, I didn't do anything though. Like I get that it's weird, but like I was a damn baby. Yeah. Maybe it, he sneezed when he did the charm and he fucked up. Yeah, he messed up. That's on him. What happens Allergies. Though, if you sneeze? You know, like mid incantation i don't think it matters because i think most adults do it in their mind right yeah but i mean that's gonna mess up your brain too like if you sneeze maybe you can't think straight when you sneeze i mean i do half a second i i can i mean you're just better than unless me. i have you know those sneezes where like it hurts your shoulders yeah oh it's the worst right. <laughs> he's a coughing fit right at that moment and, and hagrid doesn't even fucking tell him where to go like look i'm ha- 11 on my own in london dude hagrid tried to touch his penis Realize it wasn't happening, like, so he's like, all right, I'm out. You know? Like, can you not tell me where nine and three quarters is? Well, it's obviously between nine and ten. We all know that. But slightly closer to ten than nine. But slightly closer to <laughs> like, ten. Like, what if that's how you had to do it? You can't enter right in the middle. Yeah. You have to be slightly to the right. I love uh, – We I don't talk a lot about cinematography and stuff but I and lighting, but I love the lighting coming yeah. up here. How everything's kind of bright, more natural light, and then it goes more that golden light as soon as he gets on the platform. Why do you think she did nine and three quarters and not nine and a half? Do you think nine and three quarters just sounded better? Nine, I think nine and a half is too predictable. And we, we remember she is predictably unpredictable. Yeah. I also wonder, like, there's got to be an easier way to get there, right, than running into a fucking wall. Yeah. How does no one notice? There's people, but this is what this, what does it say about people in London? You're all absorbed. You're only thinking about yourselves. I know we have a huge London audience, so yeah, get over yourself. Which is better than our audience in America, who our noses are so far in our phones, it doesn't even matter. And I'm, I'll be the first one to to be. That's there. true. Nowadays, I think you could get away with no one noticing. Yeah. Back then, though, before the cell phone was like everywhere, I guess people were because this was in the '80s, right? This is yeah. Harry Potter took place in the '80s, like early '80s. Like, th- this this one would have been early 80s. I think so. I think it was, like, 83 to 90 or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I was, thinking the, I, I was thinking the last one ended in, like, 89, maybe 90. Yeah, no, it's probably like that. Jenny also, or Ginny, whatever, whatever mm-hmm. you prefer, 
I always, obviously, as a kid, like I, do, I feel comfortable saying, like, oh, I thought this person was cute or that person was cute because I was their age when I watched yes. this. Oh yeah. So I have that. Emma Watson, I thought was Emma Watson. I thought yeah. was just gorgeous. Kind of like the same thing with the Olsen twins um, when they were on Full House. Yeah, it's okay for us. It's to okay say for it, us though. to say that. It's weird for me to look at her now and go, "Oh, look, she's hot." But right. back then, when back I was then, eleven, oh, I was wrong. Okay, Harry Potter was born in nineteen eighty. Went into Hogwarts in nineteen ninety one. Okay, so ninety one through ninety seven. Ninety one through ninety seven. So this is nineteen ninety one. So we're ten years away at least from cell phones. Yeah, and fifteen away from a smartphone. Yeah. Um, being predominant. Anyway, going back to Jenny, I always thought that she was really pretty, but she had an older face. She does have an older face. Yeah. She, not that she's not pretty in real life, like she is, but like she didn't turn out as hot as No, like, no, no, no. I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. I'm not going to say that. Not that missed. I'm judging them on that. I'm just, you know, You can't tell. You can't go like, what are you going to look at in 10 years? But I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, who would have predicted how hot Emma Watson was going to be? Yeah. I mean, like, as a kid, I mean. Especially like, with, she couldn't cut her hair for 10 years. Mm -hmm. She shaved, like, you basically shaved it yeah, off. Yeah, right she went with the pixie cut right after and that. she pulled that off, She too. pulled the shit off of that. That Vanity Fair mm -hmm. center that she yep. had. Yes, Woo. please. My wife knows that, and she understands, like, she would be left for Emma Watson if that ever happened. Yeah. Oh, she she's, understands that. She would be mad at me if I didn't leave her. There are certain people that are on our list. Yeah. I would be mad at my wife if she didn't leave me for Emma Watson. Oh, yeah. I would, I would pay a lot of money for that to yeah. actually happen. Hey, you should leave me for Emma Watson. Yeah. And send me pictures. So Harry just pulled out like 200 bucks. Actually, probably more. Oh, I bet that's more than 200 bucks. That was bucks. like 10 galleons. Yeah. That was probably like close to a grand. Ron's like, uh, we're going to be friends. Yeah. You're going to buy me shit all the time. How would you not be friends if you were Ron? He's poor as fuck, redheaded. Yeah, and you're like, wait, you can buy me all the candy that you want? Have you ever had these? I have. Did you get any bad ones? I did get a few bad ones. I don't remember what they were, but there's a game that's basically like the Birdie's Bots Every Flavor Beans, but it's so called something different. Some of them are good and some of them are bad, but they look the same, and you like flick the little spinner and it tells you okay you're gonna pick up a green one and it's either vomit or green apple oh and i played with my nephew one time oh my god Did you get vomit? i got vomit i got and it tasted like you know when you throw up and like that, that taste, bile yeah. taste in your uh -huh. mouth oh my god it, it tasted, tasted like that. just like that <laughs> It was awful. It'd be funny if you ate it. You're like, I really like it. Yeah, this is good. What'd you Can get? Can I have more? Vomit? <laughs> uh, one more time? <laughs> more, please. Well, I'll say. See, and this is something I didn't understand. So, like, all the, the magic and everything is, like, two words. Yeah. But this is, like, a fucking rhyme. Well, Ron, because Ron's an idiot. His brothers were tricking him. Something comes out of his wand, though? Because he gets dirt on his face. I think this is also, like, a play where J.K. Rowling's making fun of just, you know, made-up wizard culture. Like, everyone would, like, you know, if you're doing, yeah. you do incantations and it's this rhyming thing, like, well, really, it was just... Very mystical, yeah. yeah. Dude, I think Harry Potter's based on a true story. I always said that. What if J.K. Rowling was an actual witch in this world and decided, like, hey, I'm going to make so much money if I tell this story to muggles? Because there's nobody's right. going to believe that it's real. Yeah. Like literally, your only, your only like hurdle was you have to get something from the, in this case, real wizarding world. Yeah, but why? That says, like, I'm gonna break the statute of secrecy, but I'm not because they're too fucking stupid. But what are they gonna really do? Land. Even if she doesn't do it, even if she breaks the statue of, like a secrecy, she's out. She's probably knew it was gonna cost her to get expelled from the community, but now she's one of the richest people in the world, and she can still do magic. Yeah, it's like. Okay. And all the wizards are like, I can't believe she told that story. I know. And, like, that's why, like, What if the so real detailed. Harry Potter came out and he's like, look, it's actually, my name's actually Larry, not Harry. <laughs> Harry Motter. Larry Motter. Um, and it didn't quite happen like that because I actually ended up fucking Hermione, <laughs> not Ginny. So. I actually fucked them both because I'm Harry Potter. I can do, what I can do whatever I the fuck I want. I saved everyone's life. Yep. Yep. How would you feel if you found out that this was true? Would you be like, that's awesome? Or would you be like, this sucks that I'm not a part of it? Uh, I think it would be cool. I think that it would, to me, it's kind of like, because you know me, I'm a firm believer that there are aliens out there. Yeah, there has to be. And 
again, conversation for another day, but it's more we're more likely to get attacked by aliens than a zombie apocalypse to happen. Yeah. That would but be. I think that this would play into that same thing. Like Iconic scene, right? It here. almost – yes. I remember actually this was the background on my computer as a kid. Oh, I love it. The music right here, the yeah. first view of Hogwarts ever. And again, the CGI here holds up. Yeah. And the kids' reactions to this – mythical place that they're i mean they're looking at nothing right this now this movie is almost 20 years old How yeah fucking weird is that <sighs> what are we gonna do when this movie turns 20 and i remember seeing it vividly yeah in the theaters i'm gonna cry dude i'm like tearing up right now it's like i remember being so excited to go to this i remember seeing this movie and being like oh my god it's gonna take so long for all these movies to be out yeah and now i'm like seven years eight years past the last movie um, but back to, to what you said, like, what, how would I react if this is yeah. real? I don't think I would be that surprised because it doesn't make sense to me that society as we know it and culture as we know it, even across different continents and countries, is the only thing out there. Yeah. There's, there's got to be other stuff. Yeah, we, don't, we don't know everything. I love it in the books. They all think there's like a secret test. Yeah. Or something they have to do because all the students trick them. First look at Malfoy. Malfoy. Talk about another great casting. He, he's fantastic. Did you know he tried out for Ron? He wanted to be Ron. Oh, I, I thought it was Harry. Was no, he went for Ron. Okay. Yeah. I knew he w he went for one of them and they were like, yeah. no, but, but they liked him you're a douchebag kind of enough <laughs> that you would definitely play this role well. I mean, again, like that's what I'm saying. Like all these kids, like that's totally Neville. Yeah, you know that Neville Malfoy is, is fucking Malfoy. jacked now, dude. He's Have you hot. seen him? He is hot, man. Yeah, like he gets his teeth fixed, and I'd fuck him. <laughs> and uh, the black kid, um, I don't remember his name, but he is on How to Get Away with Murder on oh, ABC. He, he was the main character. Yeah, right? he was the, the main character yeah. for a while, and then either Crab or Goyle, one of them actually fights MMA now. Really? Yeah. Dude, one day I want to introduce myself, last name first. Cycli. Cycli. Ronnie, Ronnie Cycli. Malfoy. Draco. Bond. James Bond. I mean, what's this? If someone did that to you, how much would you be like, you're a fucking douche? <laughs> I'd probably just laugh in their face. If they were serious? Yeah. Like, what? You know what's funny, though, is like going through high school and like meeting people at college parties and stuff, like if – this person introduced themselves that way, I would not be surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, I just remember, I don't know their names. I don't remember where I was at. I just remember that one encounter. I'm like, this guy is a douchebag. Yeah, but it's funny is you probably remember his name. You know, if like someone... If I really thought... If, like, yeah, if, if he introduced if, himself that way, I would remember Because immediately he'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? And he'd yeah. be like, you remember everyone else. You're like, yeah, whatever. I would pay so much money for one damn meal at Hogwarts. Oh, I know. So, have you been to one of the Wizarding Worlds? No, and I don't know how I have it because okay. I've seriously read each book at least ten times, and I've I've been such a nerd about it and I haven't made it out. I there. don't know how I haven't done it. We just need to do it. I know. Have and you your wife's family is from Florida. Yeah, they live in Florida. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, that's that shocks me. Have you been? Um, yeah, we've been to the one in, in Florida. We haven't been to the one in California. Um, this was pre the Hogwarts side, so we only had the Diag or pre. Hogsmeade side. Okay. So we only had Diagonal Alley. Or maybe it was the other one. Whichever one came first, that's the one that we went to. We went to, to yeah. And um, we ate at I think it was I think it was actually Hogsmeade is what came first, because we ate at the uh, the Hog's Head. Yeah. Oh that's my god, it was delicious. Yeah. So we you had did, some butterbeer? We had butterbeer. It was Did they me? have booze in that? Like real booze? You can get it with booze or without uh, booze. I got the one without booze because I was I, I was at Universal Studios, so actually I had a a Hulk drink, of course, which was green and it was awesome. And I was well, as feeling you should, pretty Mr. good. Banner. I was feeling pretty good, but um, it was me, my wife, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and we had like a family-style meal. And basically, on this big-ass plate, they brought a chicken, corn, potatoes, um, and then on like another little plate, they brought out like I think it was like some sort of apple dessert. It was one of the best meals I've had ever, probably. Go. It was so good. Um, I was going to say something else before you asked that. 
So do you like – oh, I remember what it was. So obviously in this one and then in subsequent movies, they dress them differently. Costume yeah. design is way different. Which do you prefer? I prefer the latter. I prefer like three through eight. I would agree. The thing – like again, it goes back to our first conversation with this movie was it's very kitschy. It's very corny. It's very – what we think wizards are with McGonagall's pointed hat. Yeah. You know, like, where in the newer movies are like, look, these kids are still growing up in normal society, too. They did a good job, I felt like, of transitioning us from this, which is that stereotypical, this is what wizards are. God, R.I.P. I love how Ron is immediately, he sees that $1,000 in his pocket, he's like, I'm loyal to you to the end. Bro, I got your back. Yeah, they've known each other, what, four hours, maybe? Um, I love the way Dumbledore claps if you've never noticed. Yeah, with his on, hand on top yeah. of the other. Uh, I think they did a good job of transitioning us from the stereotypical what we thought the Wizarding World would be to a more realistic one. This is very much what we, like, yeah, we thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that the hat talks out loud. Okay, but I think, okay, I think it's only talking out loud to him. I, I no one know. else can hear it. Maybe, because like, how, here's why I know that's true, or have to believe that. No one in public ever calls Harry out for the Sorting Hat when was putting it in Gryffindor. That's never like because if this was if they could, would you it, call Harry out on anything? Draco would have. Well, that's true. I mean, that's the thing. Like, he's still like the special boy. People, someone in Gryffindor. Remember, he's really unpopular this first year when he loses all those points. Yeah. Someone in Gryffindor would have been like, you're not even supposed to be in our house. You know, I, yeah, like, I could see that. I could see that. Because it would have been – plus this would have been totally controversial. Like this would have probably made headlines like Harry Potter almost gets sorted into Slytherin but demands not to. It would have – that's my thing. It's like it would have been – I can – I see your point. And I remember there was um, – she wrote in other books like some people it's immediate. Some people it takes a minute or yeah. two. And his feeling it was taking forever. But I remember there was some other kid, she's like, oh, for one kid, it took a minute. And like, I remember, like, Harry felt bad for him or something. Like, because that's probably just an internal dialogue he's having with the hat or other, some other kid is. So I don't know. I the just. Weasley brothers. That's one where I think that they play it very well, but they miss as far as the physical character looks. Because in the books, they're really short and stocky. Yep. And they're funnier in the books. They I are... They're not funny in the movies, but I literally would. Split my book down because I was yeah. laughing too hard. He, when – spoiler alert. When uh, one of them dies in the seventh book, that one actually hit me hard yeah. – just as hard, if not harder, than some of the other ones. It was just sad because they were always just – It definitely hit me harder than people. when Sirius died. Oh, man. When I read that in the fifth book, though, yeah. that, that hit me hard. It just – I didn't – Dude, man. I know. Double fisting right there. Seamus. I would just love to be somewhere where, like, there's just that much food. Every Although, honestly, where are you going to sit here? Because we've just gone across, like, six people, and you had, like, lamb chops. Yeah. You had french fries. But, like, you can't reach everything. I'd be like, dude, like, can I – can you hand me that over there? See, I would rather it be buffet style. What, what if it was rotating – because it's magical on purpose. Oh. What if the whole middle was just Ooh, moving? The whole just time? like yeah, sushi train. Was, yeah, sushi train style. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Now Nicholas Flamel, Flamel right there. He just made all the food cold, right? Yeah, my dude. What an come asshole, on, man. Yeah, this drunk ghost. That's that's definitely me. I'd be like, dude. You know, I love that there are ghosts, but like, can I eat in peace? Leave me a fuck alone. It's not my fault you were so sad in life that you stayed around. I would definitely be the ghost that has a sword and is just, like, trying to stab people with it. <laughs> Ha-ha! Isn't this guy – is this guy a real guy, I think? He's a real guy? I think Sir Nicholas is a real guy who got beheaded, but they botched the beheading and they couldn't – Oh, like in real life in real and life, she just yeah. used that – Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Well, I remember when I was in London once, they told us about someone like that was beheaded, and they couldn't make it through. Maybe. It was really bad. I, I mean, I could totally see it being real. Man, I just – I think if this was real, I'd be so bummed out that I never could do it. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be the person, like, that can't do stuff. Like, 
And she was like, man, I know I'd be sad about it. I'd feel like my life is pointless immediately. I think, honestly, though, going to a school like this for seven years, you're limited to the those people around you. It's a boarding school, yeah. I mean, it's it, a boarding school. It, I think it would – I mean, obviously, you and me, we, we went to school together. We both went to public school. Like, we were able to meet a lot of people and do a lot of things. And, like – we also went to a really big school. Though. We also went to a huge school. so Because if someone goes to a school with 100 people per class, it's the same thing. It's pretty thing. much the same thing. That's Especially true. in a town where people aren't moving a lot. You yeah. Know, no smaller towns and stuff. But So I always wonder, like, boarding schools – here's the fat lady. Um, boarding schools sound really romantic to me because of movies like this and other movies. I like, think uh, it would be terrible. But, like, in real life, uh, yeah, that would be kind of shitty to go far away from your parents and then just be like – I don't know, constant. You only get to see, like, your family, what, for holidays. a week during holidays, a weekend at Easter, and then a couple of months in uh-huh, the summer? summer time. I'm sure they have options at boarding schools where you can go home on any weekends. Yeah. But, like, you know, obviously Hogwarts is, like, six hours away by train. Which, I mean, you're killing basically an entire day to get there and back. Yeah. Like, well, I guess you could do side along operation, but you would have to go into Hogsmeade. So then you have oh, to yeah, be, you have to, you, you know, have to be at least your three. three. Yeah, to do that. First of all, Owl's not supposed to be there, Harry. So already breaking the rules on the first night. Why is he acting like he's depressed, bro? Like this is fucking awesome. Why are you so sad? He's just in a whirlwind. He's like, I'm about to fuck some bitches here. <laughs> yeah. You see the tail? Yeah, and the castle they changed, and I like the, the other castle more. Like I said, everything's just perfect in this. Like, yeah. everything's very clean. It's just like, that's not how it would be. I would love to have a cat that looks like this. It's like a Bengal tiger. High roll. They're obviously all doing work. It's like... Did she start an assignment, then turn into a cat on purpose just to embarrass them? Yeah, I'm a little confused about that because, like, she makes a comment in one of the other ones, which I think it's the second one, where she turns into a cat and she's like, most of the time that gets a better reaction. Well, I wouldn't get a better reaction, Professor McGonagall. You may have already fucking seen it. Yeah, that's right, because everyone's nervous about the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. I do love Ron's. This that was bloody brilliant. Maybe I should turn one of you into a pocket watch. I think that's actually in the other movie too. That's one problem that I have is I I've seen all the movies and read all the books so many times I get them confused. They just flow together so yeah. well. See, this is supposed to take place in a dungeon. It's not a fucking There's dungeon. There's sunlight right there. It's not a dungeon. But I think they move his classroom in the other ones too. Well, he's in the dungeon for potions, and then they, he doesn't change classrooms when he switches over to the defensive. Right, and they do the defensive against dark cards. Yeah. Well, I feel bad for Harry here. I'm like, dude, he's taking notes, you ass. You need to call him out. It also saved his best friend later on. That's Zor. on. That's on you. So were there ever any terms? Because obviously you read the book, right? Mm-hmm. Were there any any terms or anything that like – you read it differently than what they say it. I, I probably would have remembered better like ten years ago. Yeah. Because I started like I think I said Hermione's name like Hermione. Her- Hermione. Yeah. I think I said Hermione. I think I said Dumbledore. I think I said um, what are some other ones? Mine. One of mine was um, uh, Accio. Yeah, I said Accio. It's Accio. Um, Bezor, a Bejor. Yeah. There were several of them that were a little different. I think, yeah, and then the movies came out. I was like, well, that's not how I – I mean, then you get used to seeing the movie so many times, and it's like – And I – one of the things that I never did was because I watched the movies prior to the books. Now, I finished all the books before the movies came out, but I think I was three behind at one point. Um, How she describes the characters – to me, didn't matter because they were always going to be the actors. See, technically, like, 
Well, Snape, Alan Rickman's way older than Snape's supposed to be. Because Snape's supposed to be Harry's parents' age. Right. So he should be about 40, and Snape in real life is about 60. Yeah. So. I'm so glad that he made it through all of them. All of them. Gosh. Because. And also they make Snape seem very thin in the books. But, like, Alan Rickman's Snape. Yeah. Like, he is. Doesn't Snape. matter. I love this that Seamus is trying to make wine. Like he's 11 years old, and he's already trying to figure out how to turn his water That's my kind of dude. It's like, dude, that's what. That's, uh, <laughs> that's my kind this of dude. This guy fucks, man. I remember, um, and this is a stupid one, but like this the CGI is, is totally holding up for me. This is me just not knowing how to read. I always read where Harry lived, where the Dursleys lived. That's Private Drive. It's uh, Private Drive. Private Drive 4. Because I just figured it was a private drive. Like, yeah. That's what I read it as. Like, Makes sense. And I was like, oh, it's private. Is there a map on the wall? This would be a cool so, way to get mail. Yeah, I'm super confused. Why are all these kids getting mail? Like, the parents sending letters, making sure they got home safe. I guess. Got to school safe. I bet you this is probably the busiest day of the mail year. The mm. first day of school. Yeah. And I bet you it's just kind of like in and out the rest of the days. I've read about those. It means you've forgotten something. See, maybe that's what you can't remember. Just look. Circle. Look at Harry fucking reading the newspaper, dude. Get over yourself. I know. God. Read the sports section. Or at least, like, the funnies. How long – I've always wondered, so in these moving pictures, how long is the gif in real life? Because it's not like – you know, it's not – it's going to be – it's going to repeat itself after a while, right? Yeah. Because it can't be a day later what the goblins are doing now. Is it a minute long gif? Is it just however long the picture was? Well, and here's the so thing, too. In the pictures, the they can leave. They don't have to stay in their pictures. Yeah. So, like, they get bored doing that shit, right? Yeah. Like, like I've been doing this. But same those are thing portraits, for like an hour. though. Right? Like, what's the difference? With the portraits, I remember they talked about Dumbledore's, all the headmaster ones. It take, they take a little part of the personality of the, of the, you know, of the I don't the know. Flying. You're nerding out too much. We're about to fly. Up. Harry gets it without yeah. any problem. She's very frustrated. God, how cool would this be, though? But also probably uncomfortable. I yeah, think. I mean, I don't know that I want to stick up my ass. But they do – what I like in, like, later ones, you see the fancier ones. They have foot they have rests. Foot rests have, and, yeah. like, seat – yeah. These are obviously uh, just the basic school PE ones. Yeah. These are the ones that have been there since 1962. This is the only part where the CGI is, is, not, yeah. is not good. What I'm annoyed at is like, Hooch, you're clearly a witch. Like, just use a spell to bring him down. Yeah. Like, she's like. You know, this is a risk you're teaching a flying class. I just realized her eyes are fucking creepy. Yeah. Do you think first? Do you think it's a little too early to start learning how to fly, or you know, eleven years old seems? No, I think it's I think it's on point. Yeah, but what would take one eleven year old to be like, oh, steal a broomstick and just fly off? You know, I would do something like that. Like, let's, I have done something like yeah, that. Yeah, like go sneak out at midnight. See, where is she? Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. What is the teacher doing there? Like, pull out your fucking It's wand. called Wingardium Leviosa. You could have you could have prevented this from happening. All of, of Malfoy's dialogue is just it is Malfoy. Yeah. Like coming up right here, if he would have given this a squeeze, would have remembered to land on his fat ass. To be fair, Harry's like, that's a good point. Like, I agree. Yeah. He's like, you know what? <laughs> what we would have may happened? be good friends. What would have happened if, like, obviously earlier in the, like, you know, about ten minutes ago, Dump Draco offered his hand in friendship, and Harry was the asshole and did not shake it. What would have happened if Harry's like, all right, let's be friends? And that's why, because I was yeah. always wondered, what if Harry had gotten sorted into Slytherin and become friends with Draco Malfoy, like? Would everyone – would Draco's dad be, like, cool with it? Would be like, hey, yeah. this guy killed our leader? 
or defeated our leader? Or would they be like, ooh, maybe here, Harry's going to be the new Dark I Lord? I think people think he would be – because there was already a rumor <coughs> yeah, that he going would. around that he was. So – So we had just shaken his hand, Drake. So let me get this straight. A kid that has grown up in a fucking cupboard all of a sudden knows how to fly a broom and can catch a fucking marble. I mean, that's, that's what Harry's instincts are, though. You know? I don't know. It's in his blood. I I think he's doping. Dude, did you see that curler is doping? I did see that. Like, why do you got to dope? But then they're curling? But then they're... Trying to say, even the Americans are like, I think somebody slipped him something. Because it's not the essence of curling. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. What a catch. I love McGonagall here. She's like, fuck yes, let's go. Yeah. She's like, we're going to fucking win. She's like, have you seen, so there's like legit real life uh, Quidditch. Yep. I think you've actually shown it to me. And like, it's awesome. A person is the snitch. Yeah. <laughs> How do you, like, it would get so annoying. Like, just play without the broomsticks. It, yeah. Just play the damn sport without the broomsticks. That's it. Like, I get it. It's fun to say it's like, oh, Harry Potter. Just, that's got to be so hard and annoying to keep running. How like many that. times would you wreck yourself? Too many times. Every game, every five minutes, probably. Unibrow. I love anyway. this. Oliver Woods, like, um, can I just have fucking tryouts? Yeah. Like, I know you're the head of my house, but, like, can't just he's make like, these decisions. I for mean, me. if he's good enough. I'm the captain. Yeah, he'd be like, can I talk to you over here? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, don't make that was awkward. Now I feel obligated to yeah. give him the job. And it's also impressive for Fred and George to be starting beaters at three at, at third on the year. third year, yeah. Which they're talking like they've already been on the team, so they made yeah. the team in their second year. Which what does it say? Is that they're good or just Gryffindor was low on talent, you know? I think it's a mixture of both. Because they hadn't won um, it had been over seven years or something since the Gryffindor had won the Quidditch Cup. And technically, they never actually won it. They won it the third year. Harry's did, third year. Did they actually win it? Yeah. Oh. They have a big celebration in the third one. It's Oliver Wood's senior year. I don't, I don't think they actually won. Yeah, they finally win because he gets the firebolt. Ooh, you might, but he didn't get the firebolt until the end of the end of it. He didn't in not in, no, in the book he did. In the uh, movie he did. You yeah. might be right. Yeah, you might be right. I might be misre- misremembering. He should have given that remember all a squeeze. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you'll fall on your. This would ass. freak me out. See, I couldn't go to a school. See, like this. this is like unfair. Like, come on, I couldn't do it. Like, if the teacher's mad at you for being late, you're like, I the fucking staircase moved. Not Put me in the wrong me. direction. And why don't they just go down right here? Why do they have to go through that door? Like, okay, let's just go down the stairwell to the left. Aren't they trying to go right, though? And so... Yeah, but if you go back down, it's better than going into a fucking door that's got this creepy dude in it. Yeah, just turn around at this point. It's not... Like, just because the cat's about to tell on you, like, doesn't mean you, you cat, double though. down. With those and, eyes, it is a creepy cat. Like, just... Okay, it's Phil's just cat. If you just walk back in the hallway... Why are you it's very convenient to this? though? It's like motion sensors, lights. Like when you run by it, they light up. You badass. Yeah. This door is locked. I don't know what. Just go back into the hallway casually. All right. Just like pretend like you weren't doing anything. Hello, Hamora. But you need to keep it mind. Where this hallway is, because this is definitely a good place where you can take a chick to, to make out with. Oh, her. yeah. Dude, you know, like, how much action was going on around this school. I'm surprised that, like, how, okay, how much, over under, each one of them, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, got four STDs while at Hogwarts. Oh, yeah, definitely. i take the over in a heartbeat. Hermione's hooking up with Victor Crumb. Yeah, that's some international I mean, STDs. like, and he's, like, four years older than her. Have you heard, like, you know, why they it's, everyone's having sex at Hogwarts, so there's no babies. There's those spells, fetus deletus, <laughs> <laughs> the abortion spell. <laughs> it's all out of mind, like, why there's no teenage pregnancy at Hogwarts. What would happen? Like, would you get kicked out of school? I don't know. They don't seem particularly religious. 
Yeah, but I mean, like, who's going to take care? Do, do the house elves then take care of the baby? Give it to the baby, yeah. She's like, I'm, I'm keeping it. Here's one of the, my favorite favorite lines in the entire series. Tells you everything you need to know about Hermione. Fucking classic. She's going to bed? Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the, uh, get us, any ideas that will get us killed or Oh, I thought you were just spelled. implying that she was a slut and liked to get into bed. Oh, no. I was talking about the line where she says that. Yeah. You guys are going to get us killed or worse, expelled. Like, shit, I'd rather die than get expelled from Hogwarts. Man, I want to be so pissed off if I was missing out on that. This is a nice quick little scene explaining an entire sport, sport to us. In a few minutes. What position are you? I'm probably a beater, right? Don't you think? I think you'd be a beater too. I think I'd beater, beater or keeper. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm too physical to not be a beater. You'd play like half beater, half keeper. You'd go in and out. You'd play very dangerously. Yeah. You'd get out of the goalpost. I'm like, I'd be yelling at you, Brian, stay in front of the goals. Yeah. You're knocking someone off their. Bloom. I definitely couldn't play chaser though. Because I couldn't score unless I used my head. Chaser, I'm not good enough at basketball. I think I could do seeker, maybe. Keeper. I could see you. I could see you as seeker, but I don't think I could definitely do. I'm not bulky enough to do beater, and I'm not good enough at basketball to do chaser. I think you're definitely a seeker. I do have my seeker jersey. I do have a shirt that someone bought me from the Wizarding World. It was a Harry Potter Quidditch jersey. I'm definitely better looking than Wood. My sister had a crush on Oliver Wood. Really? Yeah, when I was a kid. That's weird. She really liked Oliver Wood. She his was eye, always, it's his eyebrows. She was always into British guys. It's not even that. It's his eyebrows. Yeah, you know, now that I'm older, I'm like, what are you what are you talking about? It's his fucking eyebrows, man. So everyone always bitches about Quidditch, and I don't think people actually understand because we're looking at Quidditch like as a very American mindset. Whereas I look – I'm a big soccer fan, and everyone's in Quidditch like the game is pointless. It's only the seeker that matters, right? They say, what's the point? The chaser, yeah, they'll score points. But Goal what's differential. It, that, exactly. And see, we don't have any sports in this country outside of soccer that deal with point differential. Basketball, football, that doesn't matter how much you win by. But in soccer, it's huge. You know, when you're looking at standing, so, you know, a win is worth three points, a tie is worth one. And zero. So goal differential makes a tie-breaking difference. And it makes a difference in standing. So if you have an awesome chaser, like you lose every week, but you're only losing by 10 or 20 because your seeker sucks. Overall, like you're not – it's not going to hurt you as bad in the standings if you're losing 150 points every time. Yep. But I don't think people realize that like in, in a league play, point differential is going to be clutch. It's yeah, in the United States – Anytime point differential comes into play is like an eighth tiebreaker. Yeah, exactly. In the United States, in, in sorry, in soccer, even in MLS, it's literally the second it's or the first the, tiebreaker. It's the first tiebreaker. Yeah. yeah. If if there's two teams with the same number of points, which that the whole point system is foreign to to yeah, the United States. A win I mean, isn't a win. Yeah, uh, yeah. A, a win, win is worth the points, not yeah. the not the difference. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you win five zero in soccer; it's worth three points. Yeah. But I, so I think she wrote Quidditch based on British sports. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. But everyone's like, oh, doesn't – I'm like, no, I hate when people say that online. I do think it's not realistic that the house teams only play three games a year. I think they would play – They play a home-and-home. Home. Yeah, they would play at least six. Yeah. Three also, games over ten um, months. Professor Flitwick here, he changes. He's – yeah. He's also – yeah, they make him look – It's the same actor. It's the same actor. But they, they change It's just the costume. Look. More modern, not like this. He also plays one of the goblins at Gringotts. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. Got Ron being a jerk to Hermione. Even as an 11-year-old, I thought Hermione was smoking. Nope. Every time. The first time I had just like – I think I started realizing how hot she was going to be, In though. Like one? was the third one. Yep. Whenever she wears like 
like, it's street clothes. Yeah, and you're just like, okay, wait yeah. a second. And it's then, that part. On, I know exactly what part you're talking about. It's when she punches Malfoy. Oh man, that's yep. hot. Yeah. That's where it is. I'm like, Black girl who could wait a minute. For herself, you man. can almost see your training. This bro. dude. How is everyone not fucking fat at Hogwarts? Look at this food. They have they have like spells to keep them skinny. They have to, right? Especially Ron. Does he yeah. ever not have food in his fucking no. mouth? No. It's like, do they go for jogs? Yeah. Like we need to do our PT today. Dude, you're the defense against the dark arts teacher, bro. See, if I'm dumb this is when I get suspicious. I'm like, I mean, I get that you're fainted and you're really weird, but I also hired you to be defense against the dark yeah. arts, so... Look, what do they say? They say, those who can't do, teach. <laughs> so obviously he can't do, so he's, he's teaching. teaching. Look at that food, bro. I would be so pissed, like, being sent back to my dormitory. I'm like, can I take like, some Is this to go? not the safest place? This is like a bomb shelter. Yeah, like, this I, is clearly the I safest place. I want a box place. to go. So this is the first instance we ever see Harry go hero mode. Yeah. Like, hey, everyone's going back to the dormitories. Harry has a different plan in mind. So would you agree that, like, Harry seeks this stuff out? Yeah, definitely. I do, too. He enjoys it. Like... To the point of, like, he does it with good intentions, but you can't tell me he doesn't get off on it. I think that he likes being the center of attention. No matter how much in the books it says he doesn't and how much he complains about it and I just want to be normal, he fucking loves it. He has to. Think about where he's been the last 11 years is the forgotten, unwanted nephew who and, and who's never gotten any attention. Of course he fucking likes it. He's, he's modest, I'll give you that, but he loves it. Think about it. He's the seeker. He's he is dry. not humble. Yeah. He has a high opinion of himself. I think it's hard for him because I think a lot – he's like in the fourth one when he's being – or no, fifth one when he's being really – he's like, I don't ask for this to happen. But like at the same time, like, dude, you kind of – You bring do. it on yourself. Now, like the fourth one, he did not put his name in there. He no, did not. No, like he – I would You agree. know, that one was kind of tough. But, but he wasn't mad about it. He and remember in the book it even has him daydreaming about winning, even yeah. when he's upset about it. Oh, That's just pea rude, brain. Man. Okay, so the subtitles just said that was pea, like the vegetable peas. Mm -hmm. I always took it like pea, like urine, because it's in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> it's not to me. It's not as much of an insult anymore. <laughs> But pea brain is an insult. I mean, that's a saying. My boss says it all the damn time. It gets so annoying. I want to play a drinking game to my boss saying pea brain. You'd be hammered. Dude. You're he also, is so full you of cliches. are a pea brain. I mean, that's true. So. My head is really small. Did you go on this ride at uh, Harry Potter World? I did. Get attacked by they, a troll. They just hang you upside down and you try <laughs> not to get hit in the face with the, with the You're like, club. I, I regret <laughs> lining up for this ride. Like, I thought this was the line for the pisser. They all call you pea brain. Dude, why do you got to hit him with a club? You're a troll. Look how big your arms are. Just punch him but with you're a your troll. damn arm. They're, they're dumb. That would hurt too. Yeah, just that kind of fall. I don't know how Harry's wand doesn't break here. Oh, uh, yeah. He falls on the side of his face, I guess. Yeah, but... He wouldn't fall on the side of his face. This was so disgusting. When he pulled the wand out yeah. of his nose. Again, so they use CGI, but then they have an actual troll laying on the ground. Like, the practical sets here is just... It's very, very well done. That's gross. That's nasty. Don't wipe it on your robe, dude. That's definitely a you wipe on Ron's robe situation. As a joke. Like, oh, God. She's like, fuck you, ah, man. Look what I got, man. Ah. Look at Hermione taking the fall. There's no reason for her to. No. She, she wasn't. Why can't they just say Hermione went to the bathroom? We knew she was in the bathroom, so we went to warn her. Yeah. But also, as an 11 year old, you feel like you're always going to be in trouble. Always. So you need to, like. I, I'm pushing 30, and I feel like I'm always going to be in trouble. So. Click comes to our wives, definitely. Yeah. 
That I don't think that ever changes. If I had okay, what was your overall score be in points you earned or lost for your house by the end of your seventh year? Would you be in the positives no or way. negatives? There's no way I would be in the positives. I think I'd I'd end up right around zero. I would I would be negative. I'd it wouldn't be a, be a lot. Maybe like fifty to a hundred over seven years. Yeah. Because I mean, you gotta think of it. Okay. If I'm negative 10 over seven years, that's 70 points. Yeah. That's negative 70 points. Yeah. But 10 per year is not too bad. No, not too bad. So I am I would say I'd be between 50 and 100. Yeah. I, I think I'd be a push. I think I'd walk out of those doors making no difference. <laughs> because, I think I'd be late look, for I'm class. I'd talk kid, too much. I'm the kind of kid that, like, I would find somebody's – this is this is a true story. It, okay, it's not a true story for me, but – it was a true story for my little brother. I'm going to pretend that it was me because I totally would have done this shit. <laughs> he found a credit card in the parking lot, brought it in, turned it into the principal's office. Principal's office goes, oh, thank you so much. Here are – I think it was like Mazio gift cards for you guys to have for lunch. So instead of going to their next class, him and his friends went to Mazio's and <laughs> yeah. used the gift cards. So yeah. skipped class, then got in trouble for skipping class. Yes. Makes sense. That totally would have been Yeah, me. I would do that too. Yeah. Because I was always in, – in, in, in high school, I was still in student council, the leadership class. class. I was yeah. doing, but I, So that's what I'm saying. I would get points for doing stuff, but I also got in trouble all the fucking time yeah. because I talked too much. I did this or that. So I'm like, I think I would I would get five points here, and I'd lose ten points tomorrow. I'd get ten points the next day. I'd lose five points. Yeah. I would just literally come out of there. You would definitely like, be more of a wash than me. Yeah. I was – I wasn't quite as do the right thing always. I was also the I'm going to talk myself out of a lot of these bad points. Like, come on. Ten points, make it five. Yeah, come yeah. on. Look. I will accept the punishment if it's half the punishment. You're right. <laughs> First of all, I just want to tell you that you're yeah. right. I was in the wrong here, but I really think I've learned my lesson. I think I was in negative five points wrong, not negative ten. Yeah. Like, a negative ten. Look, Johnny over there, <laughs> he raped a girl and only got 25. This is bullshit. <laughs> but he – uh he used a spell to make sure his dick was protected. So. Right. I mean, which that's just the and responsible thing. Look at this. Thing How is this legal? McGonagall bought him a fucking broom. And not just a broom, the Nimbus 2000. A Nimbus 2 which is a pretty thousand. good broom. How is that legal? This is booster. Like, you can't do that in college football. You can't pay athletes. But did she take the money out of his vault? Without his permission? I, First of all, that if wasn't I'm Harry, the I'm like, too many people have access to my vault right now. But. But also, a, but also, I'm 11, so <laughs> either way, I just think it's a little inappropriate for – one, they bent the rules for him too. No first years first are First years aren't allowed. So but he gets the, that. It's then in he, his blood though. Yeah. Then he gets that. You know, I don't blame Malfoy for hating him. I'm he's like, also on HGH. Is so he's what? On HGH. <laughs> he's got caught for doping. I'd be like, it's a fucking school for wizards. We're all doping. It's yeah. called a spell. This was another thing that I thought the book did way better was Lee Jordan's uh, commentary. commentary. Yeah. Dude, it how awesome would it be so for funny. us to get Lee Jordan to come on Bro Four Squad and commentate with us? That'd be awesome. That's something that in the books he was hilarious. That's something that I've I've we've talked about behind the scenes on Bro Four Squad. Doing Bro Bro Sports Squad. And uh, just watching a, watching a match, whatever, and doing our own commentary for Can it. Can it just be WNBA games exclusively? Well, that's natural. That's our naturally where we would start. <laughs> Could you? Another layup missed. Turnover. Another turnover. Madam Hooch's eyes also creep me out. Yeah. Like she's definitely on some something, right? It has to be. Also, there were no females on the Slurin team in the books, and there is a female right there. There is. You are correct. But, I mean, look, it's the year of the woman. Harry, just catch it. It's right there. What happens if, like, both secrets suck? I mean, like, it goes, it goes on, on. I know it goes on, but, like, here's something that's also unrealistic. In real life, Quidditch, they would have subs. In the books, it's just the seven of them, and they're the ones who go to practice. And every so often, if someone gets hurt, he has to go find a replacement. Why don't they have a reserve squad? Uh, that's just lack of students. 
They're, 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 everyone no. wanted to play Quidditch. Remember how many fucking showed lack, up to try out? Lack. No, they only showed up because he was the chosen one. I don't think it's lack of excuse. You, you can't tell me there's not seven more people nope. in the house. Mm. Definitely not. Even if you have three people as subs. Because what's bullshit is um, Oliver Wood goes down here in a little bit, and they have no keeper. Just sub I mean, in a new keeper. You can't have that. That's on then. Maybe Alicia Spinnett should learn how to fucking keep. What a save. And pass. And pass. Oliver Wood getting cheeky there. This CGI isn't the great either. But for the time, for it was pretty good. For 2001. 2001 yeah. Now, do you remember, did, did they film this there. one and the second one at the same time? Or were they back to back? They were back to back. Okay. Because Harry's voice in the second one. It's is quite a bit awesome. deeper, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So wait, is Phil just Slytherin? Yeah. Well, no, but he cheers. Look at that. Slytherin, Odell so. Beckham because Junior he's catches a, the Filch is a squib. Right. See like timeout, make a sub. He's down for the count. Like, it could be like soccer, where you don't have unlimited subs. Once you, you sub, have, they're out. They're out, yeah. And you can only do it, like, two, twice. But it's just like, you gotta have subs, man. People get hurt. Look at this. The trickery. Well, and what was Fred doing there, or George? Like, what kind of D was that? He no, literally who was let it? Them was it go Fred over. or was it George? <sighs> Both. Uh, One and the same. I mean, it's a good answer. She's getting double teamed. Yes, yeah, she is. And she likes it. See, where's the foul, ref? No, no, that was clean. Because in, in actual, in Quidditch, there's, there's fouls. That was clean. She initiated the contact. No way that's more accurate. She initiated the contact. Like, that's just a cocky uh, chaser right there. Instead of throwing it to the hoop, doing a spin and hitting it in with the broom. Look, you know me. If you look cool doing something, you're going to be cool. The only goals you scored in soccer are, like, really, really fucking cool goals. That's very true. That is very true. What if this was Harry doing this on purpose yeah. as a distraction? Yeah, Harry's like, hey, guys, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Why is no one paying attention to me? I'm Harry Potter. I'm important. Help. Help. That guy had a serious mustache. I saw that. Yeah, just to the, just to the right of, or just to the left of Snape. <laughs> Again, costume design, makeup design, set design. I don't know what – this movie won some Academy Awards, I'm pretty sure. No, it didn't. It no didn't? Harry Potter movie ever won an Oscar. I swear to God it, it did. did. It got nominated, but it never won. How did this not win for yeah. one of those? It's Any crazy those. that it didn't win ever. It was a big deal, like because it was nominated through like almost every movie was nominated except for one or two, and none of them won. I'm gonna look up. I don't believe you. I swear. I know you're probably right, but I'm an HP nerd, bro. I know you are. Like this seems like you should get in trouble for like setting a teacher on fire. I do that at my school, and I'm an ass. See, and again, that's the minus ten points. That yep, you would get. right there. The film received three Academy Award nominations, Best Art Direction, Best Costume Design, and Best Original Score, but did not win. What, what won that, that year, then? I'm trying to think what score would have won over this. Oh, 2001. Let's see. Ron Howard won director. Denzel won actor. Halle Berry won. I remember actress. that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that now. Now this is this coming up here. This shows that Harry has balls. Look, the other Seeger just completely bails out. It's like yeah. fuck this, bro. And what a move here! Did Harry practice this? Like, he had to practice this. Standing that. on the broom. Don't know why it's necessary, but he does it. Howard Shore for best. And this is clutch, guys. Pay attention to where he caught the ball. May not count right now, but in seven years, remember it's this. It's going to matter.
This didn't even get nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay. Mm-mm. But Shrek did. Shrek was an adapted screenplay? Apparently. We'll give that. Look, Dumble, everyone's so happy. He's like, dude, no wonder. He's like, he's getting off on this shit, man. Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. That's what won Best Original Score. That makes sense. I think the thing is, like, about these movies, too, is, like, they were just all of them were, you know, rated. All, critically, were all acclaimed. Moulin Rouge won Best Costume Design. That makes sense, too. Yeah. And then, I don't know. I don't know where Best Art Direction. I missed that one somewhere along on here, Wikipedia. But, oh, here. Moulin Rouge won that, too. That's just a that's a tough year to go up against. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, and Moulin Rouge. Yeah, those are yeah. In terms of those specific categories, yeah. Like I just like he like has he owns Fluffy. Like, do you take that dog for a walk? How does that work? Yeah. Where do you keep? Where do you put the leash? On the middle one. Yeah. (laughs) She knows a spell when she sees one. Harry's like, yeah. You're yeah. Like, you didn't see it. Come. Harry down. is like the perfect. Exactly. Har- Harry is the perfect general manager. He's not the smartest person. Yeah. But he surrounds himself with people yep. that are gonna get the job mm-hmm. done. He's moneyballing it. You he know? is. He is. He just knows how to direct people when they need to, and then he lays the hammer down every once in a while. How much do you think Hagrid's on purpose saying stuff to see if how good Harry is? Honestly, I think Hagrid is – look, you know my theory. Every movie, there's just that dude that all they do is fucking smoke weed. Mm-hmm. Hagrid is that person. Dude, that you movies. know he gets high in that cabin. In that hut? Yeah. He lives right there on the Forbidden Forest. What makes it forbidden? The fact that he's growing shrooms in there. <laughs> dude. He doesn't even need a magic spell to make a magical. He's like this, yeah, I'm good. I don't need magic. These magic mushrooms are all I need. That sweater Harry's wearing looks so warm. It's perfect. In fucking Scotland in December. Wizard's chest, man. Like, do the pieces get put back together? I was curious. Because otherwise, you'd be running out of set, like, your pieces all the time. Yeah, do they, do you have to buy them, like, disposable cups? (laughs) Yeah. This is how lazy the wizarding community is. You really can't use your hands for nope, chess. you have to talk about it. How did Harry not see that move? It's the damn He's queen. never played. He's never played before. That's a wizard's chess. So it's the same thing except the pieces move by themselves and kill each other. Yeah. It literally is chess. It's lazy chess. It's lazy chess. It is. This is like... That's like chess on the computer. No, this is that's even worse because yeah, the computer you still, you still have, have to this. click it. Yep. As I'm saying, how are wizards not fucking fat? They don't do anything for themselves. Well, let's be honest. Let's look at more a lot of the adult wizards. Uh, Ron's mom. She's a little plump. Ron's dad. Yeah. But then you think of like Lupin. He's a stick. Yeah, but he's not all. He's all. He's mostly werewolf. He's more of a werewolf than man. Happy Christmas, Ron. Happy Christmas. I actually like saying Happy Christmas more than Merry. Yeah. I think it sounds better. I don't know about that, but, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I feel like it would be Americans saying Happy and British people saying Merry. How did that one get reversed? Yeah. Don't you think? Don't you feel like we say Happy? I would say we would say Happy. If you had to pick, like, you, let's say you didn't know anything. Also, I want no one's ever knitted me a sweater with the with the first letter of my name. I want a hand knitted sweater. My my grandma, um, we have a hand knitted uh, blanket that she knitted for us, and it is the warmest I blanket bet. ever. Um, but I don't have a sweater, especially one like that. Like that just looks like so I'm sweating warm. just looking yeah. at that. What kind of wrapping paper is this? Like, let's wrap this thing in a fucking tarp. <laughs> His Dumbledore, dude. He didn't have enough time to... Yeah, 
<laughs> you think Dumbledore on, on Christmas Eve is like, shit, I didn't get Harry yeah. anything. It's what I do on Christmas Eve. Oh, God damn it, I haven't yeah. packed anything. You're like, ah, I need to go Wrapped. to the store for sugar. See, this in my possession would just be a horrible this idea. This is a terrible idea. Especially going through puberty. Like, I don't need to say it. We know we would all do dirty things with oh, this. Be, I mean, that's a power no one should wield. No. This is, like, worse than, like, when an older brother gives his younger brother his porn collection before he goes off to college. <laughs> and, like, that younger brother who's, like, in eighth grade. It's too goes much, into, Yeah, it's too much. They just go into a boner coma for, like, a week. I'm still not out of mine from discovering the internet. Look at that restricted section locked that he had to open. So locked. I can't believe like, they never the figured that out. uses a invisibility cloak to go to the fucking library? Well, here's the thing. You're using Women's an invisibility cloak, room, dude. but yet you're holding your fucking arm out of it. I know yeah. that's for the movie, but I don't so give a shit. So we know where he is, yeah. Please. Please. Like, God, you're such a nerd, dude. I don't understand the chains either. So you can't steal the book? Because it's the restricted section. You need, like, special permission. <sighs> like, who's going to read that book, man? Why would you write a book where your guy's face just yells? Why wouldn't you? How, that's not going to sell very well. You don't know that. There's a niche market for that. I, you don't really want a book when you open it. just screams at you the whole time. Yeah. Been in the market for a new screaming book recently. But also, I think the books have tricked to themselves. Because I think in the third one... When Hagrid teaches care of magical creatures, he does the monster book. Yeah. And it, like, attacks you, but you have to stroke the spine. So, I mean, maybe that book just has, like, you know, you have to give that guy yelling a kiss or something. Yeah. She's like, look, I love you. I, I would love just you, fuck book. with Filch here. Again, as an 11-year-old, I'd be, like, making fart sounds. For sure I'd be fucking with you Filch. You know, like, or just give me, act <laughs> like it's his subconscious. This is your subconscious. See, oh yeah, like cat looking through the invisibility cloak. That's what I'd be fucking with, is that cat. Just give it a nice little kick. Give it a kick. I would scream if I came around the corner and this was happening. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> What was that? Nothing? I would seriously just make noises and fuck with people. It'd be awesome. Also, how crazy does Snape look to Quirrell right now? If you and I were talking, all of a sudden I just go, "Yeah, just reach, reach out, out or something." Like, you're like, um, okay. He plays it off though by like a little spin of his hand pointing. Yeah. He's like, "Oh shit, this guy is. This guy knows." What's I'm up. like, dude, you you clearly need to sleep, man. Like, you're yeah. Let me look. I'll finish. I'll finish out your your shift for you. They act like they freak out here about There's the a student out of bed. Oh God! <laughs> what you don't I don't think they're used to that. Well, I'm sure students are out of bed all the fucking time. Why? Why are they so upset about a student in the restricted section? This is restricted, dude. Are they keeping porn there? Probably wizard. You know how kinky Ooh, they probably get wizard with porn. Spells? Yeah, that'd be oh man, that'd be dirty, dirty. The things you could do with that wand. Oh, some spells in there. What if you do the uh, the water spell? The mm. water should stick out. So. <laughs> Get really fucking nasty, man. Uh, I think we've gone a little derailed. We'll go back to Harry Potter. It's yeah. a kids movie, guys. It's a kids movie. Kids movie. Now this mirror. What would you see in the mirror of Eris? Uh, dude, when I was eleven, or right now? Do both. Right now, like my mortgage is paid off. That's what you want most in the world? Probably. Ugh. That's a shit ton of money that I'm saving every month. <laughs> um, I don't know. When I was 11, honestly, probably just like a couple sets of boobs. Mm. Yeah. You know? Boobs. Boobs. And then when I was 11, boobs. And then today, I'd probably be boobs. My mortgage paid but off. On boobs. On boobs. The check being written out yeah, on top of boobs. on top of boobs. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I think eleven year old me would be really self. I'd I'd probably see myself like winning the house cup, winning the Quidditch cup. No, but that's like what Ron sees. 
Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think that's more realistic. Oh, it's definitely more realistic. Like Harry, definitely Gettler's, super selfish. Oh, my mom and dad. Ooh. Shut up, dude. You never knew them. You were a baby. They're nothing to you. Get over yourself. Oh. Harry's he's he's really a, a wimpy little bitch. Yeah, a little bit. Like he's a he's definitely a wimpy little bitch. But yeah, like Ron and I don't the way that Ron or the way that Harry's mom's looking at me right now. She wants it. Oh yeah, dude, she's been dry for eleven years, man. She's she, she's ready to play she a game. She fucking wants it. Oh yeah, look at that. He is hot. Yeah, and then thirty uh, year old me would probably see. I don't know. Like yeah, it would be probably like financial security or like I don't know, bro for squad on top of the world. I mean that's already happening. Running the game. Lots of money traveling, boobs. Which I'm gonna go. I'm a butt guy, so you know, probably nice butts. You know, though nice butts in the mirror don't are as appeasing. It's not as appeasing. <laughs> no, it's just like kind of weird, actually. See, Ron, you're just a normal kid. Yeah, Ron. I've always resonated with Ron. Like. I'm not the one that wants to, like, go into the fight, but I'll definitely – I'm not the one that's going to start it, but I'll definitely go in. You know what I mean? Yeah, you'll you'll jump in there if your boy yeah. makes it. Like if you, once you get annoyed, though, after hanging out with Harry, you're, like, always having to jump in the fight, though. You're like, dude, stop starting these fights. Maybe. Like – can I can I get a break from this? Because you always can I start to... the fight every once in a while, or just be like, let's take a day off from fighting. Yeah, like, come on, man. This Dumbledore is creepy. Is creepy watching him, dude. Yeah. So Dumbledore's gay. Yeah, in the books, yeah. So he's definitely touched little boys, right? Dude, come on. So if he wasn't gay, he'd be touching little girls. Probably. Look at him. <laughs> the beard represents one inch for every child he's touched. <laughs> Dumbledore's a good man, dude. Don't disperse that name. This is out of the two Dumbledores. This is more what I imagine Dumbledore to look like. But the other Dumbledore is more what I imagine him to act like. Yeah, see, the perfect movie of Dumbledore is actually the third one because it's not when Michael Gambon like and it wasn't his fault it was the direction like they made him way different than the book Dumbledore yeah. like the did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire Harry in the fourth one yeah. but the third one you know in the books Dumbledore is really loopy very he's really very. quirky and like out of it all the time the third one he is absolutely that Dumbledore he's batshit crazy yeah and he like makes funny jokes and makes comments and he's like uh, they tell Dumbledore at the end, like, oh, he did it. He's like, did what? <laughs> like, yeah. But this is, like, he's great, Richard Harris. He looks like him. But later on in the series, when Dumbledore gets way more active and fights, he's, he, Richard Harris is too fragile. fragile. Yeah. I don't know how he would have done if he had continued, if he didn't pass away. They would have had to, they would have had to get much more creative with it. Yeah. And be able to be running around doing all the crazy stuff. But... Like I said earlier, you know, it's just crazy that that's really the big one replacement in the in the movie. Didn't have to get used to anyone else. I think it would have been I don't know if it would have changed how we looked at the series, but if it was different kid actors. You know, how I remember it was big deal. I think Hermione or Emma Watson was the last one to sign on after the third one, after you know. After the third one, yeah. yeah. And it was it wasn't because she didn't want to, it was her parents because they wanted her to grow up to be a normal kid. Yeah, and she and she was still a studious person. Like she didn't want to mess with her school. And yeah. So I think the big part of the negotiations was her school work and making sure she was still able to do all this stuff. But yeah, I mean like I've watched stuff like, you know, I think of Dark Knight, you know, with the change between um what's her name? Right, uh Gil um Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and the year before was Katie Holmes. Katie Holmes, like that, didn't bother me. You know, sometimes when character nah. changes, it's not the big, it's not that big of a deal. But this is such a long, you know, character-driven story where I feel like it might have distracted a little bit. Pick this up for a bit of light reading. Ages ago, light reading. 
Philosopher's Stone, bro. What do you think about the name change? Because, like, they thought Americans were too dumb. Uh, They'd be like, it's not fun. I mean, I'm fine with it. I love that you I, I don't... I mean, I'm impartial to Sorcerer's it, Stone. That's what I grew up on. Yeah. I don't think it mattered, to be honest with you. I think that the story in itself... This was one of those things where you started reading it and you're like, wow, this is really fucking good. So then you tell your friends and they're going to read it. And word of mouth really yeah, it's, it's really grew it. I think – so I don't think it mattered what you called it. You could have called it Harry Potter poo-poo face and people would have seen it. Oh, I, I would have actually picked it up before it got famous if that's what it was called. Harry Potter yeah, I mean I, I frequently just Google poo-poo face. It's funny is that your face always pops up. It is. Are you going to have to carry this one for a second? Uh-oh. I mean, Cyclis, Good luck, you guys. Cycling's got a piece. You guys got at least four to six minutes of me talking to myself. Man, how big do you think my bladder is? Yeah, it's true. You do have a small bladder. Big mellow, small bladder. See, and this right here is proof that Hagrid just fucking smokes weed all day. Just him and his dog chilling in his hut, growing a fucking dragon. Like, if you don't think that Hagrid is on drugs, and they're all natural, too. You know he's not taking pills or anything like that. He is doing 100% organically grown fucking good shit. Him and Fluffy. He's, he's using Fluffy's shit as manure, and it works. He's got these, like, grandma hot pads. That's what he's taking the ostrich egg out of. Of the pot with. Again, I'm I'm glad that they actually used a real egg for all the shooting and everything right here until, until the, the actual dragon popped out. Because I think that it takes away the more CGI in these films. Especially because they use it very heavy. Because you have to later on. It It really takes away from it. Like right here, like obviously that CGI that was that was like Scooby Doo like CGI that was not good. Actually, that was really bad. This actually reminds me a lot of those little like ghost monster things in Scooby Doo. But it still works at the same time. Who are you talking to? I was talking to the fans just about how much Ronnie Cycli sucks. I mean, not know anything about Harry Potter ever. That is a fact. Where were you? What were you on? Uh, I was just talking about how, um, first off, you know, like this right here is proof that Hagrid's on some shit. Oh, yeah, man. Like he's just chilling with his dog, growing a goddamn Oh, dragon. you know what he wants a dragon for? He wants the dragon to light up that blunt. Yeah, he does. How badass is that? Yeah. Thing? He's just the, it's just like an automatic blunt lighter. He's like, yo, Norbert, light this shit for me. It's like, yeah. That's what's up. You want to hit this? So this part was very different, too, because it was Neville in the book. Yeah, and not Ron. And not Ron, because Ron hurt his foot. He was doing something. What was it? It was his leg. He got – oh, he got burnt by Norbert because they were going down there every day helping him take care of it for however long. Oh. And he got bit or burnt. Yeah, something happened with something him. Something like that. I mean, I get why they didn't – I, the dragon thing in the book it takes place over a whole like month. Yeah, and they got caught finally when the dragon they, gets taken to Charlie Weasley. Yes. Or yeah, they, it was actually it had already left. Look how happy Malfoy is. He's like, wait, oh shit, what? He's like, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I think you've been mistaken. I mean, egg on your that, face, Malfoy. Malfoy. And Harry's like, dude, you still got detention, bro. And in the books, though, this is when they get really unpopular. They don't do this in the movie, but they lose 50 points each. It's 150 points for Slit, uh, for Gryffindor, man. Like, they just fucking wake up. In the books, they're talking about all the, like, seven years, and everyone wakes up, and they're like... Death threats. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. They see the... Uh, they never show that in the movies. The In the books, the, the bean counter. Yeah. That has the four, you know, that magically adds. And I think it's in the background in a couple of scenes, but I, it's never a big it's deal. It's never a focal point, yeah. 
House points just isn't Huge a big deal. 150 points lost by three first years. If I was an upperclassman, I would be fucking I livid. would be livid. Especially that Gryffindor hadn't won. Yeah, especially because they were in first place, and then they go down to last. And it's that Harry Potter. See, this is when I think the whole, like, you should have been a Slytherin thing would have come into play. Oh, for, yeah, I'd agree with that. What's wrong with Romania? What's wrong with Romania, God, dude? He's Where Dracula so upset. comes from. Like you know, he's still high. He's definitely stoned. See, I was saying earlier, Hagrid's on like some all natural shit. Like if he can't grow it himself, he's he's not taking it. Filch, on the other hand, Filch is like, look, that shit's got to come out of a factory for me to yep. to take it. <laughs> he's like. Dude, if I'm Filch, though, you would have to be – like, he's a squib. He's surrounded by asshole kids all the time playing tricks on him. Cleaning up their like, shit. Like, I would be on drugs, too. This would scare the shit out of me. Going into, like, a fucking dark-ass forest in the middle of the night somewhere that they tell you specifically not to go. Yeah, why is it called the Forbidden for- Forest and that's your punishment? That doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> like – Hey, guys, no one's allowed in there because you might die. Oh, you got in trouble? Guess where you're going. And the teacher that's bringing you in there is bringing a fucking crossbow? Yeah. No. And he can't do magic? Yeah. Without his umbrella? Dude, like, if you were Hagrid, take a little lick. Of course. It's supposed to make you invincible. Yes. Like, a ha- like okay. So I'm sorry. Like I don't care what the consequences are. I would have to. I would be curious. But what? Okay, I don't understand what the consequences are. I get that we're about to see Furen say you only have a half life, a curse life. But what does that mean? What does that entail? Yeah, I don't understand. Because if you're gonna be like immortal, then that's fucking like yeah. awesome. Okay, like, so like, what's half of infinity? Yeah, like what? Like, am I sad all the time? Is that yeah. like? I'll do drugs. Yeah, I have them in my. You can cabinet. okay. You live forever, but you can never have sex again. Can I jack off? Sure. No, then that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Did it for the I'm first not, eighteen I'm not, years of my life. I'm not that cynical. <laughs> yeah. I'll find the positive and yeah. positives in life. Scared Potter. I just think Harry and Draco would be friends if given the correct opportunity. I would agree. You know, like I think I think they got off on the wrong foot. Honestly, Harry's Harry's kind of an asshole to him. Yeah, no, he really is. I, this is like, have you ever been in those scenarios where like you and someone else you just don't like each other, but when you're alone and not with other people, you actually have like normal conversation. Yep. But then immediately you're like go back to hating them once that's over. Yep. <laughs> like, well, we have to hang out. Well, okay, so we'll talk casually. I'll still call you a bitch. Or a unicorn. Yeah. So that's Quirrell under there. That would. I, it took them way longer to scream than it would have taken. Yeah, I'm mean, like, no, I'm I'm noping immediately. Yeah, I'm out. Like, and also, how is Quirrell like flying? Yeah, I, that's why I'd never wonder. Is it really Quirrell, or is that like? I mean, it's Quirrell. It has to be. No, that could be the little, like... Voldemort doesn't have a body. I know, but that doesn't mean he can't have a cloak. He has a face, right? On Quirrell. No. Isn't he, he has just a... a spirit? Remember when, at the end of this movie, like, he turns into that, like, ghost? I think he could be that ghost thing right here, just wearing a robe. Why is he scared from a horse? Again? I'd be scared of that, too. That shit's creepy. A half-man, half-horse thing that talks? You're that far. Wee. What have you heard him do that? Wee. Wee. Like what? Like it's like a fucking Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna fly away. See, I feel like they spent CGI sometimes and were like, we're gonna spend the money on this. And other times they just like, hey, intern, take care of this. Just Like again, Harry just like has no problem. He doesn't know who this guy is. No. He's like, so what was that? 
Dude, but he works out. Look at that. Look oh, at that yeah. He definitely there. does chest day. How do you do chest in, as a horse? You just lay back and just do self crunches? I mean, like. Yeah, I mean, something like that. How far back can he bend? I mean, maybe he took out his bottom See, rib. half life. A cursed life. Such a, I don't know. You don't. That's not. That's too vague, man. Yeah, and the way that Daniel Radcliffe delivered that line is really bad. Honestly, Daniel Radcliffe is a really bad actor in these first couple movies. He, he does enough. He he's, he's a really not bad great. actor. He's not. He definitely improves a lot. By he the last was, movie, I thought he the was last good. movie he was really good. I thought he was the best in the sixth one. Yeah, he's really good in the sixth. He's one. He's really bad in the fifth one though. Well, he's playing the angsty, like... The fourth and the fifth one, he was really bad. The fourth one was just... After how amazing that book was. I know, I know. Do you think they're going to redo the Harry Potter series? <sighs> as a remake? In, like, 20 years. I don't know. 20, maybe 50. I don't know. I don't know. I think 20. Because you have to, you have to think about this. They're going to make eight of the Fantastic Beasts movies. Too many, in my opinion. Theoretically. I agree. I think one was enough. Um, I, I if you want to tell the story of Grindelwald, fine. Don't call it Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, though. Right. Well, and the second one's not even called Fantastic Beasts, right? I it's, think it's called Fantastic. Is it not? I think it's called Grindelwald. I, I don't I think it's, it's Fantastic called Fantastic Beasts. Grindelwald. Oh, maybe something. it is. I agree, though. Like, don't fucking call it that. But you have to think they're going to make eight of those coming out every other year. Yeah. Okay. So we still have another seven. If you include this year, you're still looking at another 14 years later. Harry, you, that's you know, too soon to remake. Just think about how many ones. Spider-Man movies have been out every couple of years. Spider-Man movies haven't been successful. They've they have all made you know hundreds of millions of dollars. Since, I would since agree. The original okay, one. the original one was good. Spider-Man Two was amazing. Spider-Man, Spider-Man was Three was god awful. god awful. Then Amazing Spider-Man One and Amazing Spider-Man Two were both okay movies. Eh, I was not a fan. Yeah. Okay, but you know, but yeah, they're, right. they're doing it again. But yeah. now, then they made Homecoming. And so that's my point. Like, so we're seeing they're remaking those. Yeah. Okay. But all, I, you put all those in. Let's say okay, six movies. Any order, these six movies up against those six movies. What are you going to pick? Which one is better as a movie as a whole? Taking out your love for Spider Man and or your love for Harry Potter. I would watch Harry Potter ones. One hundred percent, and that's why they're not going to remake them because they're better movies. See, but Hollywood just loves that shit. You know, you'd still go. I would go. I think this is in. I think this is in the realm of like, like Back to the Future and E. T. Like you can't just remake these. Here's what I think. My prediction is, they're waiting for our generation to have fifteen year old kids. I don't know. And I still then, think that's early. And then, so I mean, that's still minimum twenty years away. I don't know, man. Twenty five years away. I still think. Think about that's that. Too early. That would be over thirty years. It would be over 30 years between movies. That's not that crazy. Yeah, but you people aren't going to – you can't think of it as – that's stupid because it's – movies are still coming out. Harry, right. Wizarding World movies are still coming out. What about this? How would you feel about an HBO Harry Potter series? I would love a, that instead. I would love – Where it's like Game of Thrones. So it's way more yes. – we get every detail of yes. the books. I would love that. I would also love that you can di- divulge deeper into other characters. Yeah. I mean, really, we only get Harry's point of view in all of these. Yeah. I would they love could really advance it. to get other people's point of views. Tell the exact same story. Even like make an anthology series where every season follows a different character. Oh, wow. I think that'd be like, it, I think it would be phenomenal if they did that, like Game yeah. of Thrones thing. Because like, there's, you can't, like, the fifth one, the fourth one. There's you can't so fucking. You can't much. do it if it's not a uh, if it's not a series. They almost ruined the entire franchise in the fourth movie because they pretty much only focused on the tournament. They made Be- it so choppy, dude, and so one choppy. of the best twists I've ever read in my life. And basically, there was no point to the twist in the movie. But so here we go, like Harry here. Instead of just going, you know, like, going to be the save the day. Like, they don't need to do anything and everything's nope. fine. They don't trust Dumbledore. They don't trust anyone. Why Why do they not? I don't, and I don't understand, like, as an 11-year-old, I trusted my teachers with everything. Yeah. I'm like, look, if they're telling me not to do this, we could die yeah. here. Which, come to think of Good it, they also told me not to do drugs. 
And as soon as I stopped listening to them, I was like, oh, these aren't that bad. Drugs? What? I'll pass us something. The way he delivers. Yeah. Slowest talker of all time, but damn, can he deliver a line. But when he needs to talk quick, he can. See this, Harry, Tonight. calm down, man. Tonight. And we're getting up, and I, I've been holding the name. I feel like Hornacek here. They took out one of my favorite parts in the book. Which was? When they're going through the rooms, and each teacher has done this, and they, they omit oh, the potions yes. room. Mm -hmm. The potions room the is potions room. my absolute favorite. And why did they cut that? That would have added two minutes to the movie, three minutes to the movie. And I think it's a very, very pivotal point. I mean, that's literally the only reason that Hermione gets 50 points at the end. Yeah. Is because she's logical. I think the movie uses the logic with the the devil's snare. Which is dumb. It's stupid. Neville. See, and that's a big deal in the book because they were all being ostracized. Yes. And Neville's like part of it. And he's getting in trouble and he's like, please stop. Yeah. Like, you're, we're not, I'm not going to let you do this again. Like, guys, we are like getting, you know, we're embarrassed. We're the embarrassment of the school. So, like, that's his motivation there. He's not just doing it because. Yeah. Hermione getting double tapped right there. Was that dirty? That was a little dirty. Nah, come on. Just the wizarding world, dude. There's not going to be dirty in the there's, wizarding world. There's MSTDs the running around. Magical sex. <laughs> Sexually like your training. crabs are actually jumping crabs. Like yeah. you can see them. They're like actual real crabs. <laughs> you can't get rid of them. Yeah, it's like Smell. it's like do you have snow crabs or king crabs? <laughs> I got king crabs. Oh, that sucks, man. It's the worst, bro. That dog still probably tries to sit on your couch and lay on the bed. Oh, yeah, you videos. know that dog thinks it's a lap dog. You're like, oh, God, you're like five thousand like, pounds. Fluffy. Fluffy down. No. <laughs> I'm not convinced that those three would be able to move that big ass paw either. That shit's got to be heavy. No way. And it, if I touch my dog when it's asleep, oh, my hand gets bit off. If I immediately do any movement, the dog is like, "Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, why are you moving?" Just be like, "Who's a good boy?" His dude, he's really bad at acting. I just also think it's Chris Columbus, man. I don't know. His movies are always like this. Like, oh, that's nasty. It's like, don't touch it. That's Take like the, off your shirt. It's like all the kids come in like a year. God. Like, you just had a cum jar that they, all, that they all went in and they tried to break a record. God. Wait, you did this? No. <laughs> I'm saying, like, if you were at a boarding school, yeah. that would totally oh, that would be, be something so that would happen. Disgusting. You know someone's done something like Oh, I'm sure that something happens at a fraternity. Oh, God. Which is why I never joined a sorority. Sorority what? What? Mm -hmm. I tried joining a sorority. I did the Robin Williams thing. Yeah. Hello! Hello! <laughs> dude, calm down, dude. I mean, I Ron's reaction there is like, kill us fast, so we're going to die yeah. anyway. And then it just fucking eats her. And then, like, Harry does not look like he reacts. Just making this space going, <gasps> yeah. isn't relaxing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've taken a shit in my pants before, too. Holding your breath, he, and it immediately happens. Apparently not. I just want to see, like, Dumbledore do go through all of these. Because he has to, right? He had to to set the thing in the mirror. I would, can you see him falling onto this? Either that or, like, he has a special code, like, like A, B, A, B, up, down, yeah. two. Seven. No, it, that would not feel well. Yeah, I feel like she just burnt Ron. 
like cooked him, if that's the power of the sun, because that's what it's supposed yep. to be, right? Mm -hmm. So that was herbology, and then charms is the charms keys. is the keys. No, charms isn't the keys. This is flying lessons or whatever. Charms is the. Um, I chess. thought charms was the keys. Then what's chess? Transfiguration. You might be right. And then. Uh, and then Nate, Snape the potions is the logic room. Oh, and there was a troll also. Oh yeah, in but, the book. But the troll and was that's, already that's defense against the dark arts. Right, but the troll was already beaten. Yeah, no, yeah. Because obviously, but as we know right. later, there's actually a bunch of other classes. Yeah. At, um, at Hogwarts. So yeah. you're telling me, I guess those teachers didn't get to, like, what would Trelawney do? <laughs> yeah. You have to read See these yourself. tea leaves. Alohomora is like the most useless unlocking spell because most of the time it doesn't work because there is a counter charm, so it doesn't right. work. Alohomora. So, but yet it works to get in to see the three-eyed yeah. dog or the three-headed dog. That seems counterintuitive. Yeah, like put like that's it. Make that door unmovable. Yeah. So you can't tell me Dumbledore doesn't have if he's the most powerful wizard in the world. You're the youngest seeker in a century. Yeah, that would suck. Why doesn't he just let go of the broom? Yeah, in the book, don't they find it first? Like before the jumping on I it? I think so. And there were three brooms. Or more than that. Yeah, there were three or four. So yeah, he saw the crumpled one because it had already been grabbed. How do you do it if you don't know which one, though? You gotta... Why don't they... Why, you would just do that freezing charm that they learn in the second book. Yep. Okay, anytime there's CGI with, like, a person, that's when what it's not good. What a catch by Hermione, though. That was a catch. She should be a seeker. The music here. You really feel... Yeah. It is its own character. Would those keys have killed him? I mean, like, if you're standing there, that would have that would have, that would have killed him. They might have killed him. Again, this room is fucking creepy. Oh, yeah. Like, how would you do? What's your chess knowledge? Oh, I would do terrible. And what level is the computer here? Yeah, if it's at easy, I might have a shot. But if it's at normal or hard, there's no way. Absolutely no way. Like, yeah, I don't... It's been too... I love chess. I never play it, but I love it. I've been wanting to buy every time I go to Toys R Us, and I never buy it, but I really want to buy Super Mario chess. Like, they have all these... It's like Bowser's the king on one side, and Mario's the king on the other. That sounds And Yoshi awesome. is, like, the, the rooks. Uh, Luigi is the bishops. Toad is, like, the pawns. Toad's got to be the pawns, right? Yeah. yeah. And then Bow and then um, Koopa Trooper is like the rooks and on the other is side. Wario on one, on his side. Yeah, I think Wario. He's like that. Got to be like the knight or something, dude. Right? It's so I'm like every time I'm Luigi's like, the b bishop. I need to buy it, man. I'm just gonna buy it. You're literally gonna get online and buy Probably. it right now. See how much it, I can go to Toys R Us right after this. As for me, I'll be. That's the one time that Ron's like delivery. I'm like, all right, man. Tried a little hard. White moves first. Then we play. Oh, yeah. Definitely go. tries too hard. I had some of the characters wrong, but yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Nice. See, why is he the man? I don't like the knight, like the the L shape. It's like the rook was my favorite in the bishop. That's legit, dude. Like he purposely sacrifices the first guy just to see if it's an actual like beating. It's like, hey, you know what? Don't sacrifice your players that early. 
Like you just lost the pawn it's on the second move. move it's a of rookie the move. Second man. move of the game, man. Exactly like Wizard says. Harry already looks like he's been through a fucking war here. Castle to e4. How do they know what pawn they're moving? I guess the only one who can legally move that direction. Yeah, but couldn't you? Sometimes they can go sideways. Not pawns. They can't go sideways. They can go diagonal. Diagonal to, only to attack. Kill. Yeah, right. only for a kill. So maybe. So how do they know that you want that one to go to attack, or that you just want them to like go forward? Hmm. That one. You. That one. Look at that, man. It's yeah. brutal. And a good, great practical effects. Dude, I'm going to buy this shit. I'm not going to lie. I would not be able to be standing there as a piece and go, wait a minute. What pieces? Where do I should I move? Yeah. Wait, what? Say that again. Like, I wouldn't be able to be on the board like that and see the whole board and be like, okay, I'm going to move here. Then you move there. He's so annoyed, like, bitch. He's like, shut up, Oh, my bitch. God. Either hop up on this dick or shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, my eight-year-old is like, always nagging me. Like, I know we're going to get married, but please, oh, no. five minutes, stop it. So as you were reading the books, did you always think it was going to be Ron and Hermione? Or did you think that <sighs> think they were all just going to be started, friends? I thought it would be Harry and Ron. Sorry, Harry and Ron. Harry and Hermione. Wow, yeah. that's progressive. Yeah, bro. Like, you didn't see it coming? I always thought, like, I think I could tell early on, though, that Harry was never into Hermione. Like, because he he would visibly talk about, like, Cho Chang or yeah. all these other girls. Like, it just seemed like he never gave a shit. I think it's a little dumb that he ended up with Ginny. Yeah. Kept it in the family. Yeah. I just, I don't know. It just seems stupid to me. I guess, like, we didn't just – I think she had to put him with someone we knew, and there really weren't a lot of other female characters around his age of characters we knew. I don't think he needed to be with anybody, and the story wouldn't have changed other than your epilogue. It wouldn't have, yeah. The whole epilogue was just supposed to be happy because Harry had such a miserable life. Yeah. What she moves, he's like, well, that was our move. Yeah, so. He's like, well, Great. We're doing it again. We we do this at, like every movie we do this for like a one solid one. Yeah. two minutes. We just start watching it because it's too good. They're man. just good. Yeah, we we don't pick bad movies. I would I would just grab that sword and take it with me. Yeah, like, this might a, come in handy. This yeah, this is a it's just planning for the future, man. It's like a good investment. Also, it does look fucking heavy. It does sword. look heavy. He honestly, a eleven year old Harry probably couldn't pick that up, let alone swing it around. So right here, this is where they both go into the potions room, and they have to. One of them goes forward, one of them goes back, one of them kills you, and some of them do nothing. And there's a riddle. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And Hermione figures it out. Yep. She goes back, gets Ron, saves. Well, she has to go back. Right. Yeah. Because there's only one that goes forward, and of course. And it was half drank already by Quirrell. And oh, so was it? Yeah. So there was only enough in there. The other ones were poison. One let you go back. And so she had to drink that one. Yeah. So she couldn't help But she anymore. went back, saved Ron, and then got Dumbledore. While Harry's like, I'm going to save the day. Even though he really doesn't do anything here. He just kind of stands there. He just kind of stands there and yells, No! Nah! Well, the whole thing is the only person who could get the stone was someone who looked in the mirror and didn't want the stone. Or didn't want to use it. Yeah! But, like, the thing is, if Harry I had never don't gotten believe... down there, Quirrell was never going to get it anyway. I, I exactly. Snape, he was the one. Popo, you... stuttering Professor Quirrell. It's like, dude, you're just turning into an asshole, man. He should be way more bloody right now, too, FYI.
I would have succeeded. See, Harry's still on the Snape thing. He's like, Snape tried to save me. He like really is desperate for Snape to be bad. Yeah. Well, and he's like that that entire, like, he has a vendetta against Snape before he even should have a vendetta against it's Snape. It's just because he was mean to him. <laughs> Actually, he got the pain in his scar when he looked at Snape, but it was really Quirrell's back of head. Yeah, but okay, pain. you get a headache from looking at a school teacher. That happens to the best of us. See, every time he turns around. Again, man, the turban, like, I don't know. I just feel like we could have had something a little bit more practical. <laughs> He's wearing a 10-gallon cowboy <laughs> hat. It doesn't work with his outfit at all, but it just... No, 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 I'm good. Like, Harry's like, okay. Like, dude, come on. Show a little resistance. I wish that sure. was like an, I wish that was an interview question. You're interviewing for a new job, and they're like, all right. So you're down in the dungeons, and Professor Quirrell says, come here now. What do you do? Well, he's a professor, so you got to go. Uh, yes, you have to go. So you would comply even though you knew he was a bad guy. Well, I mean, when you put it that way, yeah, well, may maybe not. He's like, oh, shit. Either my boner is going to be erect. Say, I'm gonna get finally just got a boner now. Or something else is going to be erect. Which the way that Harry's eye fucking himself. He's like, ooh. He's like, oh, well, and yeah, then I, I oh yeah, I give it a little nice little squeeze. Ooh, that felt good. Yeah, it did. Mm. What if he said, I'm having sex with Hermione. She's getting off. And then I shake hands with Dumbledore. And he's I so didn't proud. wash my hands. And he's so proud of me. I see boobs, Professor Quirrell. I see boobs. Quirrell's like, damn it, that's what I see too. <laughs> Maybe this is the boob mirror, not the mirror of Erised. How good do you think this felt for Voldemort? Like, the turban getting off, do you think he's like, oh, thank God, it was getting stuffy in there, Well, man. I bet it feels good for Quirrell too. Like, that shit's got to be kind of heavy. Yeah. But seriously, though, like, I, that'd be awesome if he took a huge gas. <gasps> oh, fuck, yes. man. It's hot yes. in there. He's funny. He's like, Harry's like, I was really a baby. I don't. Yeah, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm really not. When that people good with tell faces. you that when you were a kid, oh, I haven't seen you since baby. Like, I don't think we've ever met. Yeah. Oh, we've met. No, you were a baby. That yeah. doesn't fucking count. I held you in the hospital. No, I was that's like, not. Oh, that was thirty years ago. Awesome. We're not. We're not friends because it's of like that. those people that your parents make you invite to your wedding. Yeah. I'm like, I've never. You're like, I don't know who this is. But I don't even know their name. It's like I don't think that they would agree with my <laughs> sense of style. <laughs> How does he know it's in his pocket? He just sees a bulge and he knows he doesn't have a boner right and now. And how does he make fire without a wand? It was programmed. It was ready to go. It was ready to go. He just flipped the switch. He hit the button. It was like the clapper. Yeah. The snapper. The snapper. Again, if he just had one of those, maybe he had one of those lighter things that Dumbledore had. <laughs> yeah. Snap on. The deluminator or whatever it's called. Look at that. That's nice. Your parents were brave. Um, that's really, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, you knew them longer than I did. So <laughs> Yeah, you spent long, much longer. You actually had a conversation with my mom. I never did. And of course, Harry just pulls his dick out. I love this, like, this sorcerer's stone. This sorcerer's stone. What, what oh. are these, like... No, I need the green one. Damn it. This is only worth five Sorry. Zelda coins. The green one's worth 30. <laughs> that's the blue one. The green is like worth one. Anybody can get the green one. I just love that. He's like, that thing in your pocket. He's like, oh, this? Like, just show it to him. Yeah. Deny for five seconds. Like, ah, oh, what? No. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have, look, this is a boner, man. I don't even know what to do with this thing yet. I just tug at it. And all of a sudden he can There's fly. his flying thing. See, it is him. He flew earlier in the forest. I don't hey, know. Quirrell, stop choking him. He already let go of it. If I'm Voldemort, like, hey, this is unnecessary. We'll kill him later. It's, it's right there. And I don't know. Okay. So is it only his hands? Theoretically, no. But I guess in the movie, it's his hands. It's his skin that he can't touch. Yeah. Well, he was just choking the yep. fuck out of him. But he gets off on it. What is See, this? Voldemort's like, stop working on Harry, dude. That would hurt, man. That would hurt. That would suck. Again, the prosthetics that he has. 
at the uh, this CGI is good. Yeah. When he's wearing when he's wearing uh, him on the other side. Harry's like, oh my god, my hands are magic. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How would you react? Like, would you think, oh my god, I just killed somebody, or oh my god, that was fucking awesome? I think I'd do a little bit of both, but I'm like, how am I gonna get out of this one? Officer, I swear I just touched him and he yeah. turned to rock and crumbled. Yeah. See, and this, because I'd be like, nah, I mean, I didn't do anything to him. I don't know what you're talking about. That's where I would lose 50 points for my house. Yeah, like, what? Ah, no. At this point, I would use the stone. Like, well, might as well I drink mean, some might of that. As well. How do they drink a stone? I've always wondered that, too. I don't, I'm sure there's a spell. Like, do they have to melt it down, mix it with some, like, cough syrup? Yeah. It probably tastes like is, cough syrup. Is it a good chaser? <laughs> mix some booze in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have one sorcerer's stone with some rum. More like sorcerer's stone, am I right? Oh, that's yeah. What, that's what Hagrid would say. So you have to smoke it? See, there's some liquid in there. So it's basically, so you're basically you're saying it's like crystal meth. Yeah, it's crack rock. It's basically crack rock. <laughs> Get a spoon, heat it up. <laughs> Is he out for like three days? Yeah, he's out for a while. <laughs> It's like, can they not, like, just, ma like, magically wake him up? He went through a traumatic experience. The kid needs to rest. He was up all night. <laughs> That's really what it was. He just needed his rest. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened. So, naturally, I everybody love that line. knows. Yeah. Which is so true. Like, yeah. especially in, like, a high school. And I'm sure it's even worse in a boarding school. See, if I'm Dumbledore, the responsible thing here is be like, hey, you were really brave. You were really awesome. But just realize if you had done nothing, not to take away from what you did, nothing would have it's happened. A, it's a coaching moment. Like, it's a coaching moment. Like, I'm proud of you. You proved yourself. But it didn't need to happen. 100%. I, I agree with you. Um, I always felt about Baker Mayfield as quarterback. It's like, hey, it worked out. You caused a lot of chaos while you did it. But next time it would be a little easier if you had just – didn't do that. Like, just, just do the first thing that comes to mind. Do the smart thing. Also, this is a baller move by uh, Dumbledore here. Walking in, going, look, everything's good. Everything's figured out. I'm also going to eat your candy. Yeah. Oh, More, most importantly. <laughs> He's been showing up every day yeah. eating, like, a piece of candy. Every He's like, are you awake yet? No, I'm just going to take some of this. He'll never know. He'll never know. It'd be funny, so like, what if everyone wanted to use it? Like, it'd just be lost forever. Nicholas Flamel, the guy he's holding on to it for, would be like, what the fuck, dude? I asked you to hold on to it, yeah. not lock it away forever. Because Nicholas Flamel couldn't get it either, because he wants exactly. to use it. Exactly. Which I don't understand. So Nicholas Flamel is like 500 years old. Yeah, 665. So, does he have to continue to take it? Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. So, like, why right doesn't he keep it then? And be like, like, is he just like spread some Because they know that bread? Voldemort's looking for it. And so he... How do they know that he's looking for it? They think he's in Albania dead. I don't know, man. I don't agree. I... This is not... I just know that he has it to take care this of This is not based on true events. He, or maybe, wait, Nicholas Fomel left it. Ooh. Remember, Nicholas Fomel left it at... It was in Gringotts for protection. And then they moved it. Why would they move it? Gringotts... So, nobody can break into Gringotts. Well, remember, Gryff uh, Gryffindor. Hagrid always says the only place safer than Gringotts is Hogwarts. Which I would tend to disagree. Yeah, dude. Like, there's always shit happening at Harry Hogwarts. Harry gets fucked up seven years in a row by going to Hog Hogwarts. Everyone does. He's taking more candy, dude. More like, candy. You are not welcome to this shit. And at his age, should he be eating that kind of sugar? No. Maybe he just knows I'm going to die soon, so it's like, whatever. Or, you know, you get, I'm sure there's a spell to protect from diabetes. With a nice toffee. Alas! Earwax! I don't even know what earwax tastes like. I don't either. <laughs> but you're, you're kind of curious now, right? Why do, you, why do you know that? What if that was what Harry goes? Yeah, he's like, what do you, why do you, how know, do you what know what that tastes like? So they're breaking up for the summer, right? Oh, yeah, that's Ron and Hermione. Yeah. They're like, so... Are we going to tell them we got it on, or should we yeah, hide it from like, them? Look. I know, like, tensions are high. I, it was a one. It was just a one night thing, right? You know, I get why Hermione and Harry didn't get together because they're two alphas. They are two alphas, you know. And like, yeah. 
Hermione wouldn't put up with another alpha well. Okay, so here's a question. We've all taken the Pottermore test, right? Mm -hmm. What were you? Okay, was I seeking out an actual answer that I wanted or like honestly answer if you honestly answer it i'm slytherin i am too yeah and i'm not you know what i'm not afraid of it oh no i accepted it a couple I years ago it. because i realized like I, I always wanted to be gryffindor just because but i'm like dude let's be honest with myself like i'm a slytherin i am 100 percent. i'm ambitious and i want things like but it, the thing is we only think of slytherins as bad like because of no. malfoy and voldemort but they're smart they're cunning they're just like they're out for, like, they want to gain, you know, like, Gryffindors are brave. I'm not the bravest guy in the world. I'm honest. definitely not the bra I am never going to be the first one running into a fight. Yeah, I'm like... I am going to talk and lie my way out of Yeah, what shit. can I get? I'm definitely, like, on a good day, maybe I could be a Ravenclaw, but on 95% of days, I'm definitely not a Ravenclaw. No, I am closer to a Hufflepuff or a Slytherin. I think the Hufflepuff thing is, like, we really make fun of Hufflepuffs, but, yeah, I think I'd be a Slytherin on the end of the day. I think at the end of the day, I'm a Slytherin. I will talk my way out of anything. Yep. And look, they, they, they get down on it, John, but they won the House Cup like seven years in a row. Up till this moment. Right. Up till this they're moment. They're like the Patriots. And Everybody hates them because yeah. they're doing it better they than They hate us because they ain't us. And here we go. The only reason they didn't win for the eighth year in a row, because Dumbledore here shooting out some extra points yeah. at the end of the game. Really... Dumbledore came in clutch. Yeah. The way that Ron is looking at Hermione, that's when he like, realizes he's, he's into like, her. Yeah, I got all up in that shit, and she she's like, I am embarrassed that I had sex with. Like, her. can we not talk about it? Yeah, like, look, it's it's really just between us. Me, you. So he won because he played chess well. Yeah. <gasps> what? Oh, dude. If I'm Draco, though, like, for real, if I'm a Slytherin, I'm like, this is bullshit, man. They didn't need to do that. They broke so many I rules. I was going to say, okay, give them all those points. But take away the points, take too. Away, honestly, they got... <laughs> you would stand up in the middle of this, and you would yell out, like, hey, hold on. Hold on I get look. it. Let's clap them. Good yeah. job, guys. They did good. But they also, did good, they but did they shit. they gained 50 points. They were also out after hours, yep. mm -hmm. which we all know the precedent has been set. That is minus 50 points. Yeah. Like, let's call it spade a spade over here, okay, guys? Neville, fine. Give him the 10 points. I get that. Neville, I get. And if you want to give Harry 60, okay, so you guys are up 20 points. We still beat you yeah. guys by 140 Griffin points. Gryffindor was in fourth place. By a lot. See, that's what I'm telling you. That's not just Harry and them. Like, that's Gryffindor as a house having problems, man. We only like, like Gryffindor is, so much because of Harry. They they just keep firing their offensive coordinator. Yep. They need to get a new head coach. They need to change the front office. Look how happy Dumbledore is to convert this color. It's like... Well, you know red and gold suit him better. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, He does, doesn't look good in green and silver. Hey, back that pass up is green, man. Green looks good on us. Green does look good on us. And the, all the other houses are celebrating, too. If I'm a Slytherin, I'm especially pissed off. I'm like, fuck you, Ravenclaw. Fuck you, Hufflepuff. Yeah. Why are you celebrating that? Yeah. We still beat you guys. Yeah. We got second. Yeah. You're so happy that we lost. That's how pathetic you are as a fan base. Like, over here, you Hufflepuff. You care more about us losing than you winning. No wonder you're a Hufflepuff. Freaking Hufflepuffs. I'd look, there's an attendant helping. That's nice. I didn't know they had helpers. I didn't know they had helpers either. Which, why doesn't he just magic things? Yeah. It's what I don't understand. It's like, they use magic at times when it's super unnecessary, but times where I would feel like it would be necessary, they don't use it. Yep. Maybe some of them, I think at some point you would like to just not use magic. Maybe. Sometimes it's nice to, like, go for a walk instead Maybe. of apparate everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. I really I'm a don't really like lazy it. person, I don't so I don't really know. like walking. Yeah. This is a nice gift hack. Right this is, yeah, this is sweet. He's like, I got really baked the other day, and I made this for I you. Made this for you. <laughs> He's like, uh, this is a bunch of pictures of Ron and his family. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. About that. Did I mention I was really baked? Dude, how, when you, if you're high and there's moving pictures, how fucked up does that make you? You're looking at like, oh, my God, it's moving. It's looking at me. Like, I smoked way too I much. I smoked way too much. I regret this. Like, it was definitely laced in something, right? <laughs> They're looking at me.
that's when you're like, I just got to go lay down, yeah. drink some water. <laughs> just hold on. Just You're almost through this. We've all been there, though. Shut up, Harry. You know that. Yeah, uh, okay, don't lecture Harry, me, who man. Literally you, didn't follow you just a single rule. Broke everything. And you're telling and me you're to telling him, yeah. get over yourself. What if Hagrid said that to me? Like, really? Fuck you, dude. So I'm not going home. Not really. Ron's like, dude, I don't know what you just said, but like, like, you are going home. I mean, home. yeah, we are, though, yeah. going. Like, my home is great. Sorry, you have a pathetic home life. Yeah, that's not on me. Wait, you made your point, Harry. I never understood the extended way. Like, what is this? You're, you're still out. Even Hagrid's like, stop. Yeah, Hagrid's like, like right, okay, yeah, I'm waving. Awkward. See, I'm waving. Yeah, All right, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, cool. He's like, look, I just, I'm going to go do a celebratory. How big tomorrow. of an after end year of party do you think those teachers throw at Hogwarts? Oh, you know they're all getting drunk, drunk right now. They are going you know they're all like, insane. it's over another year. And like, yeah. yeah. Hagrid's like, this is oh. when they're talking shit. They're like, okay, finally. Everyone says every that shit. Padma on every Patil is such a slut. <laughs> you know she's going to be getting those yeah. king crabs. <laughs> the king crabs. <laughs> Guys, that was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because we're here in America. Mark. And if you're not in America, then it's the Philosopher's Stone, whichever you decide. Uh, Cycli, any last words? Dude, I'm ready for the next seven. I can't wait to. I. Uh, this is just a little teaser. We, we'll get way more in depth on... And we're entering the next one. If you listen to the Chamber of Secrets, that is one that Brian Banner is going not... To get a fight. I fucking hate I that. love it, and he hates it, and we, it's going to get dirty. Christian Agu Aguilera one. dirty over here. We're going to have to have a third person on that one just to keep the peace. <laughs> um, guys, we have been the bro Four squad Podcast. You guys can check out all of our content at www.bro4squad.com. Give us a like on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Bro4Squad. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and on iTunes. For Ronnie, our legal counsel, Cycli, I am the mad scientist, Ryan Banner. And we will see you guys next time.